Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today we are doing part 5 and we are in year 10. Uh, we want to play to roughly year 15 or so, which is approximately 4 to 5 hours with the speed that I use for non-testing purposes. We left our tribes in the middle of tilling and planting season, so they are fairly busy right now. With our count reaching 10 years, we're also coming to the point where a lot of players start to face issues with staying same locality without experiencing famine on a regular basis. I shall do my best to show you how you can avoid it, not always without something else suffering though, as the balance of yield workforce input is vital to the yield produce outcome. And it does need some finicky adjustments after year 10 or so due to that not only wild produce that is rather diminished, but also of course pending your seed and your tribe's ability to work well. But we shall certainly do our very best to sail through it. There might be a few storms on the way, hey, but nothing we can't manage. Buckle up, ladies. Let's get going. Right. How we for seeds, we should be quite all right. We seem to have a little bit much of everything, though. I'll lock these down in case there's a few more. Let me see, there should be a big farm here. Yeah, they are finalizing. Yep. And these are already done, so they can be opened up. There's plenty of them anyway. So that's good. I do wish that um, the fences would um, not show so dilapidated until they are closer to repairs. It's it's uh, a little bit too sharp uh, dilapidation, if you know what I mean. They've been like this for quite a while now, and they should be higher up. Or if they are as low as this, then they should perhaps have the repair needed hammer on them. It's kind of the same with, with the stone fences as well. Um, they, they start like they go room really low and then it takes a long time before they are actually in need of repair. So even though they look dilapidated, they will still last for many years. So with regards to staying long term the same locality if you want to stay long term you need to make sure that even though you have the ability to build the highest quality huts you do not need to build this the highest quality hut all the time you can have a few of the best qualities around the area where people are gathered after work so that they are always being filled when night time comes and whoever can't fit in, they will go to the next best, best option that we have at the moment, which is these that does not make people feel worse, although they are not making people feel better. And when the next night comes, there is not likely that the same one who slept in this one will also be sleeping here. Uh, likewise, whoever slept here is also just as likely to then go into one of these. So they are rotating on the good quality huts who sleeps in them. It's not the same persons all the time. So whoever has unhappy faces should be people who has any kind of bad grade. She has a bad grade. He will have a bad grade as well, and he does. So this goes for everyone. If you if you cover everything so that everyone has a way to rotate, like they have now, they everyone always goes in the best quality first then you are covered, then you can basically put the all the neutrals around so they can go there next. Try to avoid those who are minus though. So the minus ones are the pelt huts, the small straw huts. And what is the other one called? It's just normal straw hut. Yeah, it is, isn't it? Yeah, straw hut has minus. This one is neutral. This one and this one is the same. I think we talked about that this before. But reed hut is much more expensive to keep up and has less sleep spots. So, big straw hut before reed hut. If you want diversity, 
and you're not interested in being finicky and staying long term same place build whatever you want no big deal this one is bad minus 37 and this one is atrocious they're both bad really bad ouch They look very, very cozy though, don't they? But you know, with all the spiders, seriously, the spiders is what gets people, I'm sure of it. I will never change my opinion on that. I'm gonna keep the storage things the way I do at the moment, because there will be bottlenecks no matter what I do, unless I remove everything and just use open storage areas. That is likely going to happen if we reach 200 population before the uh, next patch is released to the public servers. But it is difficult to keep people alive after 200 because there still needs to be done a little bit more tweaking for the next patch as well that comes in to make sure that we are not being screwed over when winter comes and we have no winter income. So the devs are working on tweaking a little bit now based on uh, some results that has come back from testers that has played for many decades with several hundred uh, population. So yeah, they just change based on feedback from the player community, basically. But it should be fully doable to stay up to 20 years or more if you don't go up to 200 population. Otherwise, the, 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 the output you need to do to have any income is not uh, viable, it's not feasible. So we should try to keep our... our um, citizen count below 200 at, at least if you want to stay sedentary but of course if you wish to migrate go for it then you can probably go to several hundred i have played with over 500 members but i couldn't even stay 10 years same place because boom it was like a locust swarm over the lands i had no way of keeping them alive i couldn't even wait for them to get the farms down before the food was too low. So that kind of, it kind of tells us something needs to give. <laughs> so yeah, they, the devs are gonna tweak a little bit to make it uh, possible to, uh, to stay sedentary, 20 plus same locality with um, 200 population or so. Oh, I do love that they have the hair like that. The kids have a full crown and the grown-up ladies have like a few uh, behind their ear or in their uh, ponytail. It's really nice. It is It is actually quite congruent because for millennia, as far as we can tell, um, they have put flowers in their hair and some cultures, uh, young ladies who are uh, almost said free, who are single and super ready to mingle. They will put flowers in their head to signalize to any eligible uh, partners that, hey, I'm free. <laughs> so that's uh, a signal to the uh, young that uh, spring is here. Let's, let's make the best out of it. <laughs> yeah, there are many cultures that use flowers for absolutely everything. Everyone uses flowers or one or more things that we've done for millennia. And that hasn't changed today. I do like that you can see some ceramics around the huts here and there. I do like that a lot. Let's have a look. Um, 11 huts, yeah. I would like uh, my uh, my leader to stay longer because she has been a great leader, fantastic leader. She has kept up for such a long time, hasn't she? So, yeah, everything can be open now because they are basically that that's the last line of those and the last line of those you can see they can do both the the this tilling and the planting at the same time 
And if you if you stress and you see that that the tilling symbol is there at the same time as the planting si symbol, it doesn't mean that they won't do them. They will do both. So don't worry. You don't need to up your workforce for the farmers. You don't have to. You can if you want to, but there's no real need because they will cover it. You can see on my results that they always cover absolutely everything, although they're just four farmers. So no worries there. But you, of course, you are depending on how they work. Do they work well in your groups? If you are really unlucky, you could have really clumsy or stupid people working there, like this guy. He is, although dancing now, he's a bit clumsy. Not too, too, too bad, but it still can affect how he works. This guy is weak, so he will work, but he, he might wipe his brow a lot. That's one of the things that you can tell if people are, are walking uphill or they have any kind of fitness reduction, they tend to wipe their brows a lot. Brow, bro. Yo, bro, brow, eyebrow. Yeah, bro. It's a, it's a nasty word. It, it feels nasty to say, like, brow. It's not a good word, is it? Scarabray is a good word. It's a name, Scarabray. The oldest settlement that we have, I think, in that part of Europe. Scarabray. I forgot what I, what I was talking about. Yeah, um, let's look at uh, more of the... Okay, never mind. They're done. All done. Oh, oh. <laughs> so that means that, okay, they can stay like that. And you can stay like that. You need to be opened. They can eat whatever's left on you, and you too. So weird that, you know, my tribe, this tribe I have now, loves beets. And they're not supposed to be so attracted to the crop yield. You know, but they are. <laughs> it's my tribe. They love them beets. Oh yeah, so she wants. they want to clear here so they can plant more. A bit late now, though. It's a little bit close to May. No, it's not going to happen, I'm afraid. But next year, they will. So now we're going to have tons, tons of beets. Which is why I should put this up there. Oh, I can probably do these as well. No, these are the ones that need to keep the others because I only have one storehouse because beet will decay a little bit too fast for me if I don't. So also with regards to the wheat, if you've done the planting and you still have wheat left, if you have them in pits, they will last. But if you see they are creeping up to being a waste, then you should add another oven or... or increase your communal tasks, meaning they will more often tend to the ovens. So when you see that, just fit a bit around with your communal tasks or add another oven and you will have sorted the issue. It is a good investment because for every one, for every two seeds, you get one, almost one unit of flour and one unit of flour will grant you roughly 10 bread. And it goes without saying that that is absolutely worth it. So instead of wasting, just up communal tasks. Or add another oven, whatever works. What do you not have? Oh, you lack a lot, don't you? You do. I'm going to pause my mushrooms and my spring berries um, to let them recuperate for a year or two in the wild. You can choose to do it or you may not, but my, my area has very few mushrooms and also very few um, berries. I'm going to leave them so they can reseed. So that basically means that we get more next time we choose to harvest them because it's not really worth sending out a group of four to get three units of mushrooms. It's not worth it. Just use that unit or use that uh, workforce for something else, which is worth it. And then wait till they have, till the mushrooms have uh, reseeded and regrown a little bit. 
then you can come home with 50 units instead of the four units you got previously but they are not staples they are um, supposed to not be in tons you know they are not staples it is the the the, the uh, nuts the rose hips and to a high degree the roots that you can always get very often through many seasons depending on how much you're harvesting if the temperature is good as well they can last a bit longer in nature too so you can have a bit of a, a, a nice trickle throughout a few seasons and not only one so temperature plays a huge part now a really really big part if temperature is messed up over one winter or over a growth period a one winter for wild breeders and growth period for the the cultivated you could have so much less or so much more yield so that is up to nature we can do nothing about it we just have to accept that it is what it is so there's that there's always something that can mess up your rhythm isn't it so always something that can step on your salad and ruin everything I oh, know we have no yield but I think the worst thing that could possibly happen is that you as a player forget to save your seed. Hmm, Lily? How about that? <laughs> then you get no yield. So there. Well, I'll take the change in temperature and half yield above forgetting to save seeds and have zero yield. Out of two evils. Yada yada. So that's that. <laughs> People are dancing a lot and I'm glad they do. That means they are content with the conditions in the tribe. See, if those who have uh, this um, angry face are uh, sleeping in the straw hut, they don't necessarily get appeased, but they don't get worse. So if then they then the night after sleeps in one of these, their, their, their uh, angry face tend to go away and uh, they also tend to lose their angry face when they sit around the campfire and, and mingle with their family after work hours. So this is also a reason why it's important to not overdo the work hours because people need time to recuperate and socialize because humans are social creatures and we do enjoy spending time with our family. Although uh, often it needs to be a certain limit to that time. Family is family so Sometimes it can be a bit much as well. <laughs> Let me see. The uh, fencing is still working well. Um, you can quickly use the system to see if there is a gap. Because, uh, I think I've said this before, if you have just any fence, you can see whatever is white or grey is covered if you see a gap then you know that your your fence needs a bit of love need to be spliced with more fencing to say the fences can be broken as well be aware of that when they go broken that means animals can get through so make sure you always have a good amount of repair material depending on what type of fence you are using i'm always using this one for now and that means I only need a few sticks per fence. And it is not a bad idea to keep the communal tasks like they are here, because that means they will really, really quickly go and tend to the, to the fences. Not, not really like that they, they won't do it unless you have it over, uh, over middle on the policy. But uh, you, you can never harm to be safe. Never harm. If you see that groups are suffering, you can just put it down again. No big deal. You can play around. Well, with whatever your tribe leader allows you to play around with. She has six sleeps left. But she has been good. She's been strong for many years. What is the other one I have? Ah, uh, wheat, yeah, wheat. So, wheat should really... I think I have to do this, otherwise they're gonna be... They might get wasted. 
think I'm gonna add a pit next to the ovens. Well, not ovens, but uh, to the uh, to this one, so they can just basically go get it right next to the grinder. So he put almost one unit of flour, you can see, it's not a full unit. Or maybe there are two there, but maybe there is a full one, yeah. And then that would become 10 bread, which is very economical, really good. Really good. Look at you, almost done. guys doing looking good oh I love when the light is on when it's getting dark you can see the light is on in the huts it's so cozy super cozy when they go to sleep the light is turned off So yeah, if you plan to stay long term, there's no point building a million roundhouses. Just make sure that they are always filled when they sleep. Then you can add several types around if you like. If you have a ton of unhappy people or people with a lot of bad grades, you could pr probably get away with adding a few more. But uh, I will stay with these four because we want to stay here for a long time, don't we? We don't want to just stay 10 years or even 15. We want to stay longer, don't we? We do, we do. So have you guys actually remembered to save your game and then not play it until we come together again like now? Are you guys already like year 20, way ahead of me? Hmm? Have you cheated? <laughs> have you cheated on me? <laughs> oh, dude. We have beats incoming. So do you guys always play with the max speed as well? Or do you feel it's a little bit too stressful to keep an eye on everything with that speed? I find it stressful to play slow. <laughs> the slower, the more I stress. Like, God, this is so inefficient. Let's go. <laughs> yeah, I'm not a, a player who loves a slow speed at all. There's going to be flowers on these very shortly. Then we're going to have a look-see. See how pretty they are. You know, having the torch that close to the uh, reed, that doesn't really bode well. It could be a fire. We could burn down the flipping village. Dude, I didn't think of that. My goodness, we do not have fire in the, uh, in the game yet yet and i hope the devs never add it because we do need torches torches are important Gosh, we have 200 read already and they're roughly a little bit less than halfway done. Yep. I foresee that we might need to uh, keep some beets out in the wild, I almost said, out in open area. We really shouldn't do that because their longevity is not strong. Let's 
add a few of those to give to the beets. This one is supposed to have wheat grains. There you go. Ta-da! Yeah, so roughly 25-ish per repair and it takes a few years before they need repairs. So that's good. I still have people sleeping out in the open, don't I? Kids as well. Ooh. I want to add um, more huts. I don't want them to sleep out. We can afford to not have our kids sleeping out in the open, seriously. I'm just going to place down um, the blueprints and not build them all. I'll build one, because that's what we have material for at the moment. I know a lot of you like to place down a gazillion hots immediately, but if you want to stay sedentary, don't do it. Build by need only. Everything is on max limit now because she's so old. She has one sleep left before we lose her. A strong female leader. Let's have a look at these and see what they are. Mm. Mm. She has fishing. fitness hmm I can take them wasn't too bad we are building more huts I'm going to rebuild these four. <clears throat> I shall do it very soon, but not when everyone is in the middle of harvesting. Looks strong as well. He has a lot of skills. The architecture is really good.
doing quite a bit of mundane chores as well, like so many others. You can see everybody's doing some kind of mundane chores. Everybody has a little bit of the mundane chores, which is food processing and tanning. And also, of course, building the uh, monuments, or any building, to be honest. It has high architecture. She's been building, you can see the green, she's learned a lot the last month. It's probably because she is smart. So she learns fa quite fast. This little dude is soon going to have uh, skills himself, depending on what he's doing. So yeah, when you see that uh, the people who have unhappy faces all have bad grades, then you are doing nothing wrong, except if you're of course overdoing the work hours. Then people who don't have bad grades can also have angry faces, just be aware of that. But if you have normal work hours and you have a few people with uh, angry faces, it is down to their grades. That never fails, unless you're starving them, of course, which you shouldn't do under any circumstance, needless to say. Just saying, <laughs> don't starve your people. Let's see, those have come in, so I'm gonna, let me see, 38, I'm gonna, no, they don't need that much. They need less. Ta-da. Now the wheat is going to come in. And they, yeah, you can see we've managed to not waste what we have. We had previously of wheat grains, and which is good. And we always have bread, and that is fantastic. Everybody loves bread. Is this one being filled? Yeah, then they can go directly. So the efficiency is uh, improved here. So just uh, take out and go directly there, and from there, directly there, and from there, directly there. What is that, that one, that one, and that one, that one, that one, and from this one to this one, and from this one to this one. So everything is, you know, fairly close. Seven fine sticks for the gates. Well, it is worth it, although I think fine sticks are difficult to keep up with when you have a really big tribe, when you have over 200 people and you need so many uh, sickles and you need so many wooden spears. And you also are using a lot of sticks for your fencing, for your fireplaces, for your ovens. It, it quickly, yeah, can go the wrong way. So always keep a really high amount of sticks in your tribe, like I think I put mine, is it 300 I put mine to? Let's have a look. 250. And then I have people sometimes helping out with smaller amounts. This is excellent to use when you have really big tribes. Just uh, find your own way if you don't want to do it like that. There are many ways to do it that work as well. So you can see that now that we have this balance, we have more than enough food. You can see some of the rot circle is starting to creep in. And since we have more food now, we should calm down on these produce. Wild produce can go down, maybe not with 20. Okay, let's do 30. And these will never be too much because there's so little, so little honey. And I put the uh, the springberries and the mushrooms on a break so they can reseed and regrow. 
Then I can send out a group of four to get like 80 in one go. Maybe 100, who knows? They do thrive in the shadow and the moist area. So if you go to a, a wooded area or like packed with wood, you can often find them in covering the ground when they are reseeding. It's of course the wrong season for them now, but early winter stuff, they do like to be in closed confinement, moist and shadeful. That goes with that saying. Let's see, how much do I have? 347, I can, uh, I can do more, but I am going to uh, take down these as soon as the harvest is in land. Just lacking a bit more of the uh, the wheat and then of course waiting a few sleeps then these will be ready as well so uh, beets are always first to be harvested although they are not first to be tilled or planted keep that in mind while these are always last to be harvested so wheat is always first to be tilled and planted and next last to be harvested normally these two are fairly close to each other they they overlap each other so you can have both tilling and planting of both of these both beets and flax at the same time while wheat and peas are quite far apart so if you have uh, issues like i said before if you have issues with your workforce put wheat and peas to the same farmers because that means they are not overlapping each other unless you have like a farmer and two huge pieces of land shouldn't really do that <laughs> you need a bit more people than one but you know also depending on on your 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 people's efficiency how well they work you can just adjust this as you see fit you don't have to have four you don't have to have seven adjust it with what you can see that they are managing to do okie dokie <clears throat> they really like the beets i had several hundred beets when we harvested it and now I'm down to what they are not allowed to take. So they are supposed to not be so fond of the uh, cultivated crops, but these guys, dude, they love the beets. So as soon as uh, the peas are done as well, I'm going to tear down a few huts. So some people will sleep in the open, but uh, they'll be all right for a few nights. Or they should be. Should be quite all right. We do have the yeah communal tasks can stay where they are. We have okay amounts in the tribe of everything. So food is going to go down a little bit. So really should up the hunters. Should I up the hunters? I don't know. I, I I'm going to leave the hunters and instead have two more uh, fishermen. I'm gonna give those two more for the yes actually four more for the season to make sure that we always have food in the camp there's not um, a lot we are lacking at the moment it's a little bit bob bob with the food because I had to stop the beets because they were just devouring the beets so I had to chill a bit on those that is fine that needs more it will be more now because they are harvesting now. It was not a superiorly good year for the beets, I have to admit. There was a little bit lower amount than I expected, even though the uh, temperature and the growing conditions were okay. We're lacking a little bit of yield there, so it must have been a, a dip, I think, in the temperature during their growth season. Let me see. Almost done there. Okay, so all the wheat is done, then I don't have to worry about that. And then we need just the last half of these. How many houses do we have? A 14. Oh, 
a lot of storage going around. Look, all these, it looks like huge farmlands. Looks like it got oh, so much new for tribe. But it is these ones, the, the, the one cell ones. <laughs> They're tiny. Just that one cell, you know. Two minute work. <laughs> and then it's done. Let's see. Yeah, the woodchoppers can still be uh, paused. Now we can see the, the fish is increasing quite a lot. So I can probably chill a little bit if the income of the the peas are also good 147 should be all right the way it is I'll, I'll let the fishermen uh, come in with extra food and then I'll put them down again as soon as it's under full control so it's better to be a little bit uh, proactive with regards to starvation or famine especially through winter and early spring because you have so little of the wild produce that you can rely on especially if your tribe is almost 100 like we are because it's so quickly to waste your workforce on four units that barely feed six it's better to use it for other stuff for other foods so i want them to come home with their fish but i'm gonna keep these and see if maybe we can get a bit of a dried fish although it won't be much it's going to be a snack basically but just so they don't necessarily eat up everything else besides the, the dried food last over winter so if they go for the plant produce first then that's just as it should be so no problem there at all It's always a, a nice trickle, isn't there? It's not like we are going out of wild produce because we have been very stingy on the usage. We are supposed to rely on the cultivated produce, which we are trying to do. It takes a bit of, of, of uh, testing and trying and basically a little bit of fail here and there as well because it's really difficult to get it completely correct all the time. Sometimes you do miss a bit and that's just the way it is. If you are being screwed over by temperature, then it's not your fault. It happens. It happens and you cannot uh, avoid it. Okay, so that means that everything is done harvested. Yeah. So I'm going to, as soon as uh, morning starts, I'm going to dismantle one, two, three, four huts. And then build a trio here and then add these two extra to be built just need to make sure I don't go out of rope or straw oh people are already up I was just gonna say oh they're not using it that of course they are they've been up since dawn haven't they so it looks like they haven't filled the the huts of course they have always filled whatever is closest to where they have their last action they will go to the closest one which is the fireplace where people are gathering to socialize and be with family so that's good the good thing about having lots of different types of food in the camp is that they are dividing themselves fairly well on all the storage facilities so they you don't have these bottlenecks where they stand for hours in line after each other to to get to to have their meal but you don't always have that luxury. There are times where the season is, is, you know, like winter, where you have perhaps, if you're lucky, you have some leftover nuts and perhaps a few mushrooms, but that's basically it. So this is also so important to make sure that you re can rely on the cultivated produce, because then you are dividing it even more. So there's less bottlenecks. So th there is a method in the madness and uh, you just need to find the balance. I keep harping on about it, find the balance. It is not always as easy as I claim it is, and I fail just as much as anyone. But um, in the end, we, we are successful. We find a way. Unfortunately, you cannot always use the same tactics on all the tribes. You have to, to, to adjust pending your seed and how people work and you know their grades, etc. Logistics is normally what kills off my tribes. Unless there's a patch that kills off my saves, of course, which happens most of the time. 
but if there's a, um, a few cheap tweaks that needs to get done on any of the food or whatever, then logistics normally is what is kicking me to, to either migrate or um, ask the devs for a small tweak. Because you need to remember that the, as the years go by, your people will have to go further and further and further away to get the same amount as they did 10 years ago. So that goes without saying. This is why it's so important to be stingy when you wish to stay long term. Did I forget to dismantle them? I did. Okay, I'm going to do it this morning then. <laughs> I'm telling you, I'm babbling too much. I can't do two things at the same time. Okay, you are staying and you four are being dismantled tomorrow. And as soon as they're out, I'm going to exit out. I'm going to do one at a time though, so no stress. Okay, let's get this one going. As soon as that one is down, I'm gonna take up this one. Almost there. Ta -da. Then they can go on that one and I'll leave this until that one is up so I don't steal too much workforce. How are we doing with food? Yeah, they don't love the rose hips, do they? Mm. This one needs to stay. I think I have to lock on this this one as well. That one is fine. I'm going to leave it. 150. Or maybe 62. Yep. Okay. Yeah, there's uh, plenty of food. Let me see. How old were you? Where did you die? Just keeled over somewhere. God knows where. Oh, he's inside. Okay. 72. Yeah. Average uh, age. Yeah. Okay, so how is this one doing? Still building? Okay, I'm gonna leave them to it. I'm not gonna do anything before this one is done. Now this can take uh, 300 kilos, I think, it is of straw. So, yeah, I can take 300. So some of it is out in York, but of course it will be used on this one. So it's not gonna be any large waste going on. Almost. Look at you almost done. Not far now. Guys, eat up the rose tips. Come on. Yeah, good, good. It's like they're listening, you know. Very good. Do you have fish and meat that's been being dried? Almost done. Plenty of bread as well. 30. That is nice. So it's almost time to till the wheat again when January tips in. you're done then you can go down Ta -da. oh that means I can fix this one oh that's weird that one needs to go 
I need to place it correctly. Is it down already? Damn, that was quick. Okay, I'm gonna let them sleep in this before I do the next. Doing good with the food still. So this is kind of where a lot of players start to have really bad issues when they're closing up to underpopulation and year 10 plus or almost 11 as we're going in now. They have too little food but as you can see we don't have too little food. We could even probably go down on the uh, amount of rose hips because people do not love it. However if they are starving they will eat everything so it's not like they're not going to do it. Like they're gonna waste it if they have nothing else. Yeah, you have too much. I'm gonna put you to 62. No, 50. There you go. You should really be 60, but this is either 37 or 75 because it's uh, yeah, step by step, nothing in between. But that's fine. No big deal. It's all good. It looks like this one is not covering everything, but it is, isn't it? It's just the the grooves are not covering everywhere. So now there's only that one left. But tomorrow I'm going to open up this one. Yep, because we have plenty straw to do it and we have plenty rope to do it. get it up and going and this one as well will be taken down you see people like to go inside to to have their meal now typical neolithic with the roundhouse also came that people wanted to sit inside because they have windows and stuff to have light or st such in their sleeping area more activity done inside Yeah, we still have plenty straw. Look at that. Look at the uh, rose hips. They don't love them at all, do they? Come on, guys, go eat the rose hips, please. Before they go rotting. rose hips eaten up again you can see there's a bit of a bottleneck at the moment because we are just starting um, 
the uh, new season for uh, the tilling and planting and we are basically only having wheat left and a little bit of flax grain that people can rely on to eat besides the wild produce. I'm going to put down the fishermen uh, at uh, uh, autumn back to two. But now we need to get uh, people done with tilling and planting. And then we can open up whatever is left of these. There won't be any left of of the uh, majority of these, I think. The piece will go fairly quickly. You guys are done? Okay, go outside then. Be done eating. Ta-da, sorry, needs to go. That's all three of those. And I'm going to place down um, new three ones. But of course I only do one at a time and not everything in one big bang. how eagerly they are running to start building. No, one thing at a time, girls. Ta -da. Yeah, look how long the uh, rose hips were uh, maturing, how, how long they were harvestable in the wild. But you know, they do diminish in the wild as well. So even though they have just plucked a rose hip, it is basically decayed away because it's so late in the season. So absolutely late. They should have been done two months ago. So that's the reason why they are so decayed. But the uh, hazelnuts should be going a little bit strong still. But you can see they have gone quite through. If you don't over harvest all the time, you will have a nice trickle through more months than usual. But if you harvest everything in one go, then you're taking it from the bushes. And if it's zero on the bushes, the day it jumps over to um, the, the first week of the month where they are not supposed to be in harvest, they will not blossom. There will be nothing there. But if you don't take everything, they will still be there the week after and the week after. But they will, of course, rot away, but they decay a lot slower on the bushes than they do in your um, any of your storage facilities so keep that in mind if you want to have wild produce over the months where they're not supposed to be wild produce do not pluck everything pluck a little bit every day so like when the last week they are supposed to be harvestable is coming to an end do not pluck everything but use it as a kind of a saving of the food so you can pluck like 10 every day and get a, a nice trickle all the time. That is one way of doing it. I prefer to do it that way rather than build 15 storehouses and harvest everything. Nature is still the best uh, rot decay, no matter how we turn it around. For now. Oh, you guys. Uh, they're done with all the tilling. February ticking in, that means they will be doing the planting instead. Are you hungry? Go eat then. Oh, you have to stand in queues, don't you? Stand in queues for the bread, stand in queues for the wheat, stand in queues for everything. It's not too bad though, because they have quite a bit to choose between. So it is not the worst. 9.50. 45 left to go. Then this one will be done. How much? 4.94. And that one has. 5.16. So this one will be done before that one then. 
So it's this one, this one, and this one. Of course, this one last. Why this one is last? It's got to be the logistics, doesn't it? Because whatever is closest will get more. But of course, whatever is closest to completion will also get uh, priority. That goes for absolutely everything that you build. Whatever is closest to in, in, in completion will get priority to be built, finished. Of course, if you have a ton of people free, then they will go on everyone, won't they? It's not like they would just stand around waiting. I think I'm going to um, take away the allocation here. Let people eat the raw food directly. Because it's a little bit low now on the wild produce. We still have a bit of wheat to go, which is good. So we'll have to rely on that for a bit. Do so you see, it's uh, it's um, I'm not producing too much, even though I have one, two, three, four big farms, maxed out farms for roughly 90 people. Also with the trickle of wild produce, but we shouldn't really rely too much on the wild produce, except we kind of have to do it a little bit because there needs to be a few tweaks done to the balance, the output income, blah, 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 on farming. So that will come in the next uh, update. Um, and then it will be easier to not have to rely on wild produce after year 10 or so or year 20 or however your your seed is dictating that you shall start struggle <laughs> so this of course will help us to get sedentary for much much longer and then when trading comes then we can trade valuable goods or things that we don't really need or i'm not sure what the the um exchange rate is going to be and what they will accept of the goods that we have but i hope they will accept accept the common materials and not only the the, the rare ones like in order to get raw stones i need to pay them access i'm like hmm that's not going to go well so i hope it's not like that because then i have to protest oops so that one needs repairs i need to lock off these so they're not being gobbled up because they love beets don't they so as you can see that they take out whatever is in this one to repair it and that's why it's so important to have overflow storage areas that you can lock so they don't eat up the seeds that you are trying to save and as soon as um, the storehouse is repaired then you need to do a little bit of, of uh, fiddling about to get it back to the storehouse because uh, you can't always rely on that your produce survives in pits so that's why I take something that <clears throat> is uh, not crop related and then they will go back to this one and then they can go back to being ta-da. But always remember to have an overflow. Oh, okay. You decide to take that one. Sure, fine. Whatever, you can have it. It's okay. <laughs> Spend it well. <laughs> I probably don't need this one to be locked now because the repair is... The cycle is done, so it's going to be like a year or so. Perhaps a little bit less before it's uh, needed to repair again. Oh my, little hazel not going. Yeah, well done. Hello horses. Hello deer. Are they deer? They are deer. Dear, dear, dear you. You may not come eat up my food, sorry. So you kind of have it um, all the ways now because boars don't care much for your wheat. They don't care much for your, for your beets or, or the other crop but they do care for everything else you have in camp like any wild produce that is eatable in camp they they will come and get so fences are good for those as well not only for the herbivores and herbivores are the ones who will come chomp on these but the herbivores are only eating plant produce and nothing else 
Well, the pigs are omnivores. They can basically eat anything. They are eatables anything. Is. Let's see what this looks like. Oh, that's a lot of people. Five. Um, she, is she butterfingers? No, just unhandy. What are you? Yeah, don't have anything bad. Are you butterfingers? No. What are you? Aloof? Unfriendly. Mm. Oh gosh, what are you? Feeble? Yep. Not good. Slow. Clumsy. Ugh. What am, what am I going to do? None of them are kind of like... Let's have a look at my skills. None of them are contributing to increasing any skills. But she's quite okay on fishing. I think I'm going to refuse them. I need to get a better balance on this first so I don't have to juggle the groups all the time. I'm not sure I can get away with not juggling them for a year anyway, but I don't need to make it worse than it is. So, if you want to stay long term, do not accept absolutely everything that can walk and crawl. Be a little bit picky. When you see that the balance is a bit precarious, just reject everything unless they are actually bringing really good um, skills to your tribe. Oh, this one needs to be there. <clears throat> 214. I'm going to wait because I think some of these are closing up to needing repairs. I'm going to leave them for a little bit. Thirteen housing. Not everyone has a place to sleep, but that's fine. They can rotate. Okay, and here's knocked it down to max limit again. And then he died. Oh, and this one is uh, not really any better. Okay. Got good skills though. So agriculture and weaving is quite good. It seems like he's been doing a few trips into the crafters groups as well. 124 charisma. That's not too much. So which one will be next? 66, not you. Certainly not you. <laughs> 43 charisma. I don't even have to look at the really young ones, it's not going to happen. 69, no. 135, but mm, the, if the will had been a lot higher, she might have become the next tribe leader because there are more factors, factors than only charisma playing a part. Yeah. No, I don't think so. We shall see. No, I don't think so. No. <laughs> nope. Mm, maybe you. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Maybe you. Maybe you. Because you have uh, 105, but your will is fairly low. Let's see if we can find someone who has a bit high will as well. Yeah, I wouldn't mind her, but I'm not sure we can do it. Don't think so. Ooh, this might be the one. Maybe. Will is 171 and 111 charisma. Well, my bet is on her, but I, of course I haven't gone through all the uh, members, but so far she looks good. Hmm. 
Na. Na. Nope. Nope. Gosh. Wait a minute, let me have a look at her. No, no, I don't think so. This one might actually be really good later. No, I don't think so. He's got a high will, but uh, his charisma is fairly bob bob. Look at her being handy. Yes. What is she determined? Yeah. Look how much she's learned of weaving. Goodness me. She's really stubborn. She wants to get this done, doesn't she? <laughs> she wants to learn now. <laughs> Ooh, look at you. Oh, look at her charisma. 171. Crikey. Well, she might be a young, a young leader. Maybe this one. 107, but only 100 will. But look at her skills. I think she's close to the max skill holder of architecture. Is there a smidgen difference? There is, isn't there? A smidgen difference. Hmm. This one might be a good candidate later. You can see he's smart because he has a lot of green in his uh, in his learning. You can see it better here when I have up that picture. You can see both the woodworking and the stoneworking and the food processing is quite greened. 100, 912. Mm, bit too young, I think. Gosh, how are you? 111, 66. Oh, please don't let it be you. No. No, 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 no. We don't want you, although you you have skills because you are skillful, so you have lots of skills. I'm not sure your leadership material though. How does she get that charisma? It's because she's getting old, isn't it? Charisma is increasing, increasing. And her will is pathetic, but her skill is good. Which is why she has those skills. Look how, how far she's gone on each of her skills. Won't be you, what about you? Mm. 114, ouch, no, I don't want you. Because you will have the uh, fitness already or the uh, labor age already on very low. <laughs> so don't want you, don't want you. No. Mm, no. Let's have a look at you. No. no. I do believe that it is the one that we saw earlier or that the fairly young one the young woman, the fairly young, that might be. Oh, wait a minute, let's have a look at this one. 111. Wait, no. Let me see. Wait a minute, I'm gonna have a look at her. Nope. Nope. Oh, might be him. Wish I don't mind. Don't mind that at all. He's got a good fitness. Look at him. He's a very robust person. Right, it could be him. Let's look at her. No. Look, I still have, after all these years, I still have Mesolithic influence in the tribe. I quite like that. I have to admit, I quite like that. But you are not leadership material. Sorry, Bubbles. Hmm. This guy might be. Maybe, maybe. No. Nope. Got good architecture. No, no, no. 130 and 100. Um, no. I don't think you're, you're it. Nope. 
Have they gone around on everyone now yet? She's so much a no. No, no. No, no, no. No, 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 no. 113, 130, nah, nah. Nah, I don't think so. Well, maybe. We have quite a few that could actually become a tribe leader. Yeah, but I do believe that the the one that we saw was it second of or, or first? Gurut Gurutna, was that her name? I had like what 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 did she have? Like 154 or something? She had good uh, good charisma, but she didn't quite rock in the will. How are we doing with food? I can't lose track of food. Okay, so they are done. That means I can open up. They are already open too. So they're doing um, these now. How are they doing over here with them? Okay, so those are already done. Okay, so the entire field here is covered. Then it's just these few left. Yeah. Two, one and a half line left. And these should be done roughly the same time. Yeah, you can see they've been done. You can see the sproutlings are coming up. So that means that I can open up this one as well and then these should be done now as well yep yeah, they are so that means I can basically open up everything I'll wait with the beads until they are done just to be sure are they done now yeah it is it is done. all done done and dusted how long does this guy have left? He has five sleeps, so one month and one week. Five weeks. Oh, that one has seven and then he's done. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes, yes. Ninety-six people. Mm. I don't really want too many. So a year eleven. I want to keep them around hundred, between eighty and hundred and twenty-ish. I think it's a really good balance for now. When you start creeping up to 200, it is difficult to defend the workforce that you need to get the same amount of resources in that you did at the start, or even 10 years ago, or even five years ago. So yeah. Logistics, logistics, logistics. Oh, they repaired these, yeah. Oh, I didn't even notice they repaired the uh, dish. Two ninety-two. I can I can take this one off and let them repair because there's plenty enough here to do both repair and also build this one. making sure I just want to see why this one is unhappy you're hungry but you shouldn't be so hungry that you are getting all right you'll be sleeping out yeah that's why you have an unhappy face you will probably be sleeping out as well haven't you but you have yep you have been sleeping out as well that's why you have a hungry face and you have had your fitness completely no you have a baby you don't you don't carry it anymore. So what is your problem? Okay, you'll be sleeping by the fireplace. Okay then, fine. We are working on it. Patience, please, don't leave. We are building stuff for you guys. Look, it's done. So now this one is in turn. It's not far off. It's not far off at all. But this is only three people that's working here. People who have no other task. 
So when the farmers uh, need to be filled, filling the spots, then they will take from the straggler group. I have two straggler groups. So that means I have quite a few more people than I actually need. So for now, the balance is definitely in our favor. It can quickly go sour though if we overdo the building and stuff. So yeah, stingy, stingy, stingy. Let free people be free people. As long as you can feed them without wasting or without going into famine, just let them be free. You don't have to employ absolutely everyone in doing any anything. If you have enough of what you need, then just do like I do. Place them in struggle group or let them just roam free to do, you know, mundane chores. Okay, I can probably put this back on now. Because we're going into summer now, so harvesting is starting and also these staples are starting to come in. You can see both the uh, the rose hips and the roots are quite good, which also means I'm going to put down my, my fisherman to two. So uh, one of the reasons why I do not like to overdo the fishing is because um, pools need to replenish. So if you have a pool, if you have like 10 fishermen and you have like 12 pools here and they all have one fish each in them you are losing a lot of time to logistics so that's why i like to better have small fishing fishing groups so that they have longer time to replenish the pools so they don't uh, mess up their work hours with a lot of walking around from one pool to fish one fish and then going a lot of time to get another pool with only one fish and so on so Keep that in mind if you want the fishermen to be a lot more efficient. If you constantly have a ton of fishermen, you will have also a ton of pools with only one fish in it. So a good chunk of the workday will go to logistics. It is a pure loss. You can often, with a fishing group of six, get a better income of fish than you will with a big group of 21. So keep that in mind. There are times if there is a, a proper famine incoming, say you have several hundred uh, population and you've been good with not adding too much uh, uh, hunters to your groups, only for the boars, I think, is um, at least what I do. If you have this famine incoming, you can always increase your, your hunters to like six and then start hunting a few of the bigger prey like the deer or the horses but to X out all those who are pregnant or remove the species so you don't cock up too much. I also try to manipulate so it's only the, the grown males that are being hunted, but it takes a lot of looking after the, um, the hunters to do so, but it is a way to do it if you want to min-max, then that's how I do it at least. Are you all waiting for... Uh... Oh, let me see who became leader. It was him, wasn't it? Yeah, he was one of those I said it could be, wasn't he? But let's see how he uh, is faring. He will be low, won't he? No, he's good. Look at him. Yay. Now a lot more people will be working that I don't really need. But fine. But those who are free, even though they don't go into groups because they are filled, they will do chores. They will do mundane chores. That means that the people who are in groups when they go out to do their tasks, they don't need to return to camp to do your bidding or to do the mundane chores because those who are left over, they will stay in camp and they will do the mundane chores immediately. So that is quite efficient, just saying. So what do we have now? We have June, spring. That means that we should start to get the beets. I guess tomorrow or the day after they should start to be ready to harvest. Have a look at these. Oh, they are so pretty. Look how pretty they are. I love it. Still worried about the torch though. I don't want the, the roof to catch fire. <laughs> that would be tragic. 
burning down your village because you must have the torch. Okay. Let's see. 181 because we've had a few repairs. I'm going to wait till they're back up to 200 plus. Still people sleeping out. So they will have unhappy faces. But yeah, well, bit by bit, they can be happy with rotating in the good hearts every now and then. Not everyone needs to have absolutely everything tip top all the time. It's not like they're going to leave. Well, they might leave if their will is really high. They could leave. So yeah, here we go. Starting. So now we are first week of July. So now they will start to harvest the, the beets. This is good. And then they will go for the uh, these lovelies. And then they will go for the weeds and then they will go for the peas. Two hundred and twenty-six. Okay, I'm gonna go and take this one off tomorrow morning. Yep. See how that goes. I still lack, um, still lack quite a few sleeping spots though, because uh, this is like three, six, eight, nine times six, which is fifty-four. Then we have thirty-two here, so that is ninety-six. No, with those, when they become two years old, we have. Just enough sleep spot for everyone. Unless my math is completely off, which I'm not surprised it, if it was. But we shall soon figure out how many is sleeping in the open. Three, four, five, six, six, seven. Six or seven. Let me see. Sometimes their faces look like, you know, the cabbage dolls. Because someone has fisted them in the face and their face has been truncated inwards. <laughs> cabbage doll face, you know what I mean? Can you see it? They look like they have cabbage doll face. <laughs> I'm not sure if that's cute or not. I don't think it's cute. I think it's a little bit Bob Bob. <laughs> Children are always cute though, no matter. The elder has a little bit of cabbage face here and there, I have to admit. <laughs> okay, so we should get in this food and this one can, let me see, I'll put this one there. Sure. How much is left on this one? Yeah, it's quite a bit. Okay. And... How are you doing with this hut? Looking good. done in no time so with this one we shouldn't have anyone sleeping out
Oh, it's 86, not 96. God, my math is horrendous. I bet mean, those of you who are paying attention, you can hear that I was wrong. It's not 96, it's 86, right? Right? <laughs> I'm sorry, you can't take me anywhere. It is what it is. Because <laughs> they need a bit longer time before they are ready. Oh, God. You, no, look at the size of them. No. Oh, she's so good. Look at her. Oh, my God. No. No. I have to decline. I have to decline. I can't take more. God, that is so hard to do. It is so hard to do. <laughs> But we have an agenda. We need to toughen up. We need to say no. They can go to the tribe a little bit longer to the to the west. They have more food and they have space for more people. I don't. At least that's what I'm telling myself when I refuse groups that has kids in them. It's only, it's only a few more hours walk to the to the left over here, guys. <laughs> that away. <laughs> oh, oops. No, you'll be good, you'll be good. And um <clears throat> I need to close this one down. And this one. Do you see how quickly the, the beats disappear? Gosh. One would think that after after 11 years, the kids who were born to the tribe would not have exactly the same taste as the parent. But they, they seem like they do have the same taste as their parents. You know, crazy for the, uh, for the beats. Oh, we're a bit low on food now, aren't we? <laughs> Let's uh, make sure that they don't starve. So... I'm going to put this one up to 50 for now, and this one too. Might have to increase that a bit more. See how they're doing. Yeah, can do. I don't want to go too high on the wild produce. I will rather add more farms. So I think 50 is roughly the max I want to put it on before I start adding more farms. 96 4 4 4 and 4 so oh, let me see these are mixed aren't they yeah these are mixed they can stay mixed for a while and these are yeah they're not ideal because you shouldn't really mix beets with the flax because they need your workers roughly overlapping each other so that is not so so great so this one has one of each, this one is fine, so it has one um, wheat only and then it has one of the uh, the flax which is good. It's not a big one either you see, it's the small one so. So I think that, um, and you are alone with those, I'm going to leave you with those. I'm going to, let me see, as soon as all the harvesting is done, I'm going to see how this is going. And it's going down. You can see they don't have a lot to live off. So in order to try to avoid uh, using too much of the wild produce, uh, I'm going to add another um, farm as soon as this yield is in. Because that is how we are supposed to do it. Why are you thinking about leaving? Did you sleep out in the... Or maybe you were hungry, you could have been hungry as well. But there should be food for you now. 25, 48... You can eat those. I mean, how many of these are there? No, I'll, I'll let them have that. 
Because you can see there's not a lot of food for them. And now, even though we are getting in the flax, it's going to take a little bit of a while before they reach a point where people can start eating them because they won't be big amounts because they are dividing them on the various um, on the various um, storage facilities that we have. And m some of them are locked. So I'm increasing my fishermen a little bit. Maybe a little bit more because this could go bad. 30, 16. I'm going to let them help themselves from these for now so they don't starve to death I'm gonna let them take these two can't have starvation deaths we don't want that at all it can happen though it happens all the time doesn't it as long as not the entire tribe is dying to stab to famine, we're all good. We're getting more food now, that is good. Good thing that the uh, animals are trickling in. So roughly year 12, you have a really good circle of life going on with your with your flocks that you have never hunted. So you'll have a nice trickle constantly of, of meat. But meat should never be your main staple under any circumstance and neither should fish. Your main staple should be cultivated food. Be stingy and absolutely everything else. I'm going to let them eat it raw again. Just need to avoid that people are going so hungry that they become too weak to work. Can't have that. don't have to close down the wheat yet I just need to make sure they are on top of uh, their health because they did go fairly low there a bit didn't they they did they did Yeah, so they have food for the morning as well. That's good. That is... Uh, need to start saving that produce. 97, yeah. You can wait a bit with those. These are locked. Yeah, that's fine. Keep them locked. And this one I can't give in anymore, so that needs to be, because it's going to be roughly 30 seed on this land, and roughly 15 on this-ish, 15 plus minus, on this I mean, this one here. So 48 is what we should leave to be uh, for seeding. Oh, and this one has been repaired as well now, so only this one will be needing repair now. So I still lack um, roughly 10 sleeping spots. Or did I build more? No, you can see people are still sleeping outside. So when the peas are done, I am going to add more farms. 
so that we don't have to go above 50 on the wild produce or keep increasing our fishermen all the time in order to uh, get enough food. So just uh, you adjust your farms up and you adjust your wild food down. That way you can make sure that you always have some wild food to fall back on in case you have a really poor year of yield. Because that is, is going to happen sooner or later, perhaps several years in a row. You never know. You don't know. The temperature could dip so bad in their growth year or got way too high in a growth year that your yield will suffer. Although most of the crops that we have, all of them actually can take a bit of, of swinging of the temperatures with at least 10 degrees. But when you have minus, I don't think anything is going to thrive. And we have had snow here, we have had minus here. So even though it's France, it's inland, it's fairly south in Europe, we still have a bit of bob bob weather. So keep that in mind. It's almost there. They are doing them now. The peas. I've closed off so that uh, the seeds are saved. They are almost done. Lovely thunder. So you should do peas only, I guess. So these are mixed. I'm going to let them do... No, I'm just going to leave them like that for now. It's working all right, isn't it? I really should make it complete, you know, complete wheat and complete uh, this and complete that but do it later later data and then another one for so it's actually P is 2 isn't it isn't it no it isn't it's P is 1 because I'm going to use beets and wheat on the two first ones I made the so this one is going to be flax oh that's a bit of a bob bob there the clay in the middle mm. well it is what it is I just need to make sure that you don't spend half the day <laughs> gathering these materials. Should be good, shouldn't it? 
No, still not good. You can see the hand. It means that it's not good. Mm. Oh, it's overlapping a little bit, really. No, that is as it should be. I know where the hand is there. The hand is there because it's 49 there and it should be 50. So I'm going to leave it exactly like that. Ta-da. Alright. And then we need to make sure that the animals are not coming to steal our food. Alright. How much sticks do we have? We have plenty of sticks. Let me see. So these are going to be connected here. I'm going to let them build that first. Not steal away too much workforce. how efficient they are when the fence is uh, cheap and easy to build it's like woom 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 and they're all done <laughs> it's quite amazing actually let just the farmers do the clearing and now that we have 50 plus of the clay or the mud the hand is gone from the clay. I, I call it clay, but mud, mud clay. Potato, potato. So now I can add more. Okay, I don't need to go over it because it connects already there. Okay, that's good. Don't mind that at all. So there is a limit on fencing as well. So just keep that in mind. You can't build as you see fit. You need to stay within so and so many hundred of each type. But it's not uh, a unified count. So if you build uh, several types of fences, they have each their own limit. So you can have 200 of these and then 200 of another one and 250 of another one, etc, etc. Also, the uh, blueprints have a limit. So if, if everyone thing turns yellow on your, on your placing down, it means that the blueprints show you where you can put them, but you will not be able to place them because you have exceeded the amount of blueprints you're allowed to have going in one go. So what you do is you just finish it where the last green tick is, and then you wait a bit, and then you can add more. And look at that, fence is done. Okay, so now I need to make sure that no animals can get through and that I haven't missed anything so i'm gonna go over and see if i can find any holes anywhere that's a really good link can you see the link there that's a good link even though they are skewed this is linked yes this is connected connected this is connected almost like singing the the, da, da, the bone is connected to the da da and the da 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 i'm not gonna do it i didn't do it Okay, that should be all right. So I should, in theory, be able to remove these uh, sections of fence. Take the sticks back and also increasing my limit again. Or like, I can add more fences now. What if I missed a small 
point where there was no connection, then I, I get a ton of herbivores coming in and I can't get rid of them. They're eating up all my food. If they do, I'm gonna lock them in and hunt them. Try me. Try me, Bubbles. <laughs> You're gonna be hunted. It is what it is. You see, I'm gonna leave the last one. Because I feel that the connection point is skewered if I take it. <clears throat> so there. Right, so now we have one, two, three, four, five, six fully ones. So I, or should I just do it now and get it done with? I should, shouldn't I? Because I can't be lazy. So these are supposed to be wheat only. So I need to focus here. We're going to take this one. Place over the wheat. That means also the uh, this one is gone. I'm gonna remove everything. Well, some of them will be unhappy because there are things growing underneath, but that's fine. We can copy over it later. You're doing that, and this is supposed to be beets. So I'm going to remove these because these are all done, right? Yeah, they're well done. There you go. So these are gone. So you guys are wheat. Just need to get that right. Oops, wheat six. Nah, don't think so. So now we're going to go for these, which are beets. Are they not supposed to be beets? They are, aren't they? Hmm. So you will do this one. Nope. This one. There you go. And beats. Ta-da. What is this? This is uh, this one. So this is, should be wheat too. And this is to be beet too. Yep, good. So this should be peas. And this should be flax. Oh, right. that means. And you. You have one too many there. Oh no, you have one of the little ones, don't you? Yeah, that's fine. A baby one. Shouldn't be an issue at all. Let's have a look at the weeds. Do you have this one? And that one. Yeah, that's fine. What do you have? This one. Okay, that's fine. Peace. You have only that one. Yeah. That means that you guys should have also this one. So who, uh, that one has something and, yeah, that's fine. They can have it. I'm not going to argue on that. Okay, so, yep, I think that's it. So peas and uh, flax has only one each, but that is okay. Let's just keep it like that. The beets are super important to get in because they are kind of like the first real good food after a really hard winter at times with very low produce from anywhere else. So it is a relief to get beets in in early summer. Indeed, and now they're going to start doing the tilling soon.
I should get more huts for my people, shouldn't I? I should, I should, fiddly boom. Only building one at a time, of course. We're almost into new planting season, a few more sleeps. Or tilling season, I mean, and then planting, of course. One step at a time. There you go. So now we have three, six, nine. It will be 12, so that means 50, 600, and roughly once per year ish, not the same time. So I could, I could probably just leave it on what I have it on. So I'll leave it at that. Yeah. Yeah, I've chalked up my fishermen more, didn't I? God, I need to chalk them down. Seriously. There you go. How are you guys doing? 36, 54, 28. We might have too few of the beets. We might. But that's okay, because we will save better for next season. Because we are getting extra of the wheat for sure. So the wheat will carry us. You can see the wheat is carrying really well. Until we find the proper balance. It's just that as the population increase, the balance won't stay like that we need to constantly adjust it well not constantly but fairly regularly we need to adjust it but you see you can easily manage a tribe of almost a hundred with less than you might think four of these and the rest just do straw huts or big straw huts basically not the small ones or they the normal straw huts but big straw huts should keep your population happy if you don't mess around too much with the work hours that is and yeah try to not ration too much just do small amounts of rationing for a very short amount of time so the threshers are likely going to be changed a little bit with regards to their efficiency because it feels a little bit like the uh, like when you have four or five hundred population what i realized was i had to place down so many threshers i couldn't possibly keep them all up with the leather for the maintenance because um, you get so much wheat when you have like 20 plus farms and some of them are wheat and if you have a good yield you will have several thousand flax oh sorry wheat crop that you need to thresh in order to get use of the food and since the threshers can only take one sheave of wheat every time, it's extremely time consuming. And both wheat and flax crop has a fairly high decay rate. So if you don't have a shed load of threshers placed down, they are going to decay in front of your eyes before you get the time to, to thresh them. So the devs are gonna do some tweaks there to make them more efficient. So you can have uh, more wheat on per round of threshing. So you avoid that they are basically rotting in front of your eyes and also avoid putting down 50 of the threshers because we shouldn't have to do that. That is not congruent in any timeline, to be honest. So, yeah. So that's going to uh, get a little bit of a change, which is not a bad thing at all. 
So how are my craftsmen doing? Let me see, 50. I'm going to need more, aren't I? But this can stay. This is fine. And these are 100. You can easily go to 150 now. And you guys can also go to 150. Better safe than sorry, and sticks are not expensive. Like I said, if you have wood, you have you have sticks. If you have forest, you have sticks. So that's good. I don't think I'm going to build further than here. This is probably, the, I'm just going to do a test patch to see if I can sneak off with not eating up my... Oh, they avoided it anyway, which is fantastic. Yeah, so I can do that in theory. But I'm not going to do it now because it will be a little bit overkill at the moment. So we've taken eight more away from the straggler groups and placed them to various uh, farms and you can still see that the uh, the stragglers have plenty of people in them still that they're maxed out still so we have quite a few people that are free but let's not have that go to our heads and start building and building and building let's take it incrementally and slow to make sure that we get the balance right all the time for everything we do that is changing uh, outcome income you know, workforce, size, everything has an impact. So we need to see how it impacts your tribe before we take next step. So one step at a time. Remember this, one step at a time. Quite a few still sleeping out. <clears throat> Definitely need more housing. 259. Hmm. Does that mean that some of these will need to be repaired soon? Oh, look at you. You have just been repaired, haven't you? Yeah. You are getting close. Yeah, you th you are also getting close, and you will need repair quite quite soon. And that would be roughly fifty, so I can get away with putting up this one, and I'm going to test it. See if these two will. Oh no, that was that one. Yeah, that one, and the other one down here. This one, I think. Yeah, this one we soon need repairs. I don't even have to lock down the, the wheat because there's so much of it. But I shouldn't be cocky. I should keep it locked down for some at least because suddenly poof is all gone. <laughs> don't want that at all. Oh, uh, two, two, two. I am considering placing down more ovens and one more of the mills. Mm, I'll hang on a little bit to see how far the rot circle goes. Because if it comes up to the quarter before it's done and have 50 plus, I think it's time to add another mill and also another oven. Because you can see that the, the um, longevity of the flour is also not great. So it needs to be almost said like cooked quickly. <laughs> it needs to be processed into bread. With or without sand. Sandwich. Have you been repaired? No, you are basically there and thereabouts, aren't you? Yeah, you are. Oh, they need a lot of sticks, don't they? 24. Well, it's a good thing we have plenty of it. We 
we are going into winter I'm going to increase the knots to make sure that we have through the winter and also the roots just to be sure it's not like something we should be doing on a regular basis but until we have the good balance of farms because we have to wait till next uh, harvest before we can reap the goods can easily be put up to 12 as well go be efficient you guys can be twelve as well why aren't you twelve no you're ten there you go twelve still plenty of people in the straggler groups we are not running out of people anytime soon I could afford to increase my uh, farmers group with one each a little bit quicker. It doesn't hurt to have a few more if your straggler groups are overflowing anyway. So don't mind that. You don't have to do it though. You can manage without as you've seen. you need repairs look at all the meat it's like a ton of deer and horses have died but I'm not surprised it is year 12 so the start. So I am assuming that you guys are doing okay as well. But if you are looking at the famine, especially now in the winter months, up your fishermen, up your hunters, and go for it. You need to get food in. Everything else can be put on pause. If the huts are getting dilapidated, just put them on pause. And then just uh, wait till the famine is famine danger is over. And then let the fishermen and the hunters gather more food and then just take one by one hut as you get materials in. You can also um, transfer the straggler groups to do food only just take whatever could be in season like the spring berries could be in season you can still also have some hazelnuts left over so just go for what you know is there and also there will be roots still so if you are struggling with going into a famine now because balance has been a bit poor for you or your seed is absolutely horrendous then just uh, remember food is always first hots and everything else come second hand After 12 years, you can still see there's lots of tall grass in fairly close vicinity to the camp. Uh, there is going to be a small increase in the regrowth as well, so you don't have to walk to the edge of the map after year 20, because that is quite the killer. Logistics is a tribe killer, let's be clear about that. If logistics is too far away, you will have to use twice as many people to get the same amount. And uh, very often you can't afford it when the tribe is very large not going to happen so there are some small tweaks and adjustments incoming which is uh, going to make it better for us to manage a more sedentary life without stressing our butts off to get uh, the materials we need 
I'm going to dismantle that one because it's in the middle of in the middle of nowhere where I need it. <laughs> Forgot about that one when I took the fence away, didn't I? Okay, so okay, so they're planting now. Um, that's the wheat. And these guys, where are they? Yeah, you're doing the other one first. That's fine. That's fine. You see the straggler group is still overflowing so you could give your farmers another person And another one is finished. Look, that one is gone too. So now we have these three left. And they're all pretty f high up, aren't they? Indeed. 750, 820, and that one is the lowest one. And after that, we're going to start this one. The big one. Hundred and seventy. Yeah. So there's been a few that has needed repairs, I see. See how the groups are doing. Uh, stragglers are still going strong. Still, because this means that there's little that is close by for these. So it's not like they're going to send five million gatherers to get four four honey. So it's quite efficient. So you know that if if it's a group like this, no, not like this. If there's a group that is not filled, you can already tell that, okay, that means that there's not enough for everyone, all the work spots, to fill to get to these, which means there's not much of them in nature at all. So then they will go to tasks that are either closer or there at all, which is the stragglers group. And now they have started on that one that means they are they are dividing themselves on uh, the two farms with six people I guess you can do that and still be okay see I don't like that they do that they leave one to be planted and then you know oh can't you finish <laughs> don't have patience for that <laughs> it's just my OCD is going haywire <laughs> <laughs> what is your constitution? Yeah, a bit more to go before you're ready to be repaired. Turn down the uh, roots and the uh, hazelnuts back to 250 soon. I'm just going to make sure that we have food throughout the uh, entire spring as well. So this is year two where I don't allow them to harvest any mushrooms or What's the other one? Berries. So then I will see, perhaps next year or the year after, I'm going to let them go and get berries and mushrooms to see how many units they come home with. It could be a terrible seed and they basically have very little of anything. But you never know. Okay. 94 people. Mm, let me have a look at you guys. No skills. Oh, well, you are 19. Mm. 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 Are you butterfingers? No. 
Oh, he's good. But they have very little skills, don't they? Nope, sorry. Don't want you. Sorry! Go to the one to the left. There's one to the to the west of here. I can probably take you because <laughs> I can't. Okay, so let's see how far the uh, beats are lasting. Because if you calculate roughly 30 per farm, we will be short. But maybe they are all using wooden spear so I could get away with it. Maybe if I'm really, really lucky. So uh, the wheat is done, right? It is. Excellent. So now there's uh, three. One, two, three, four. That is active because these two are wheat. So the peas are probably being uh, tilled. Yeah, exactly that. So although they don't overlap each other with regards to tilling, they are overlapping each other anyway because two of them will be doing uh, tilling while one will be doing planting. So there are 18 active at the same time here. So keep that in mind, if you are struggling with work workforce, just remember that they don't all work at the same time. And you can juggle them as well. You can juggle the numbers, take some up and some down. When you see they're almost done with one, but you're lacking a lot on another, take down the workforce in the one who has almost been done and add it to the one who, who, who is lacking before they are done quite a bit. So, yeah, you could balance it fairly well yourself with a little bit of jiggling around. Nothing is written in stone. So I'm going to get this one up as well. Oh, unless there are no people sleeping out in the open or by the fireplace. Let's have a, a, a look when, uh, when they go to bed now. Let's see who is sleeping out. Of course, there's nobody sleeping out and I'm just leaving it on pause and then put it back up when it's uh, actually needed. I've given up on counting, I won't remember it. I'll just go by who may, how many I can see sleeping around the fireplaces. <laughs> I wish we had, um, for instance, in housing, I wish we had a small number here that said the amount of sleep spots that was available or that we had a total in tribe. Then we could easily, you know, calculate how many Okay, so one, two. Two people are sleeping out. Okay. You will get your own hut. There you go. Such a luxury. Dayama. Come year 30 and I have to dismantle them because I can't afford to get the materials because people have to walk all the way to the, the edge of the map to get anything at all. That's normally what is happening after year 30 with me at least. Same locality that is, obviously. Obviously. Look at the speed. You are done. You are almost done. So these will start the planting last. And these will be starting fairly quickly now. They are not far off the, uh, the beats at all. A little overlap there. You know, the, the way they made the sun, it is actually like you are staring into the sun. You know what I mean? The sharpness of it reminds me of real life. Dude. the baby bush is coming up nice they don't all reseed though let that be said not everything is receding but they, some, some receding is of course going on and then you might have them growing up on other places as well they have been for instance a few years in the soil before they start growing that can happen as well because it's not like they just disappear overnight you know they, they do have a life cycle and then it's you know offspring and etc. Okay, now I have sleeping spots for absolutely everyone. Uh, 
how we're doing with the wheat. Okay, halfway. Okay, you. Oh, yeah, I won't have enough uh, seed, will I? How far have you gone? Are you done? Oh, you are. Oh, my goodness. I might actually manage to squeeze in the last ones. No. Yeah, I have one, two. Yeah, we're going to do it. We're going to make it 48 for two. That means none of them hand seeded. And it also means that they were a bit more efficient than I feared. Only one left. Yeah, we have enough seed. Go, go, go. You can do it. <laughs> we need one. Go get it. You go, girl. Woohoo. We did it. I did not expect that, I have to admit. <laughs> it might be because quite a few of these are not taking seeds because there's something else underneath. Could be an explanation. So I'm gonna let people eat whatever's left. And these, uh, this one. But these two are still under planting, so I'm going to wait a bit so these two are being planted. Okay then, so now we have kind of secured next year's harvest. So keep an eye on your food. Keep an eye on your food. Uh, winter and early spring are normally really hard months to get through if you have a, a very poor seed with regards to wild yield. And also, it will shorten your longevity in the locality if you constantly have to rely on the wild food in larger amounts with a large tribe. So if you are close to 100 that we are, you really, really should work on getting the farms to take over any kind of staple food and let the wild be on their own and only have a very small trickle of it. So I think we are pretty safe now. We're going to go into May. So in June, the last month of spring, I'm going to turn down all the wild food and I'm going to put my fishermen down to two. While the hunters will still be going after the, the boars and you see there's still no boars on the map. There is no hunting, meaning that uh, there are no boars to hunt in the entire map, which is the point, because they eat a lot of your wild food. They eat basically the same food as, food as you. Eat a bus, anything else, <laughs> basically. <laughs> How far have you gone? Okay, so you're almost done. And you are basically done. Right, so that kind of means that I can open up the other two, and that should be it, and that one. Yeah, that's it. That means I should open up these and let people eat them up. When we have this food as well, I might get away with uh, taking down the um, food amount in my gather group. So I'm going to put you back to 50. And you as well. There you go. <coughs> And we certainly do not need all these people. Putting them down to eight. You guys can stay though. That's fine. Because you can see we are maxing out the struggle groups anyway. Mm, I'm going to increase these to eight. Because you can see now that several are needing repairs at the same time. The material is going down quite steep before they slowly go back up. So this is kind of the pattern. So when you see that the pattern tends to be really low, you just go up a little bit. You don't have to go up on the amount, just go up on the amount of people so they are more effectively getting them into the camp. Because it's not like we're wasting anything, is it? It's all being used. Let's see what else I could work on. Mm, no, I think the rest is quite all right. I am going to take down my hunters in June. No, hunter, fishermen, I mean, duh. 
Let me have a look at those, see the skills. Oh, she's good. Look at her. She's very close to Max. She's good. She's good. They're all great. They're all keeping up with the uh, max uh, skill levels of the tribe. But this is the overall that they are working towards. And they can be really quick in getting up to that point in the learning process. But after that, it is really, really painfully slow. Unless you get migrants. And spreading of knowledge is the way to go. But of course, you can do it on your own as well. It's just really slow at times. Very tedious and Mesolithic, I'll tell you that for free. I cheese Mesolithic. There is no way I can be asked to wait 1200 years to get a reed hut. Not going to happen. I am going to spam the shit out of everything until I get what I want. <laughs> I know it's not congruent, but if I wanted to play it 100% congruent in the Mesolithic, I would do so. And I have done so. I have done it a million times when testing it, and I have done it a million times before as well. So it's not like I haven't done it. It's just I, I want it to be more efficient, even if it's not congruent. It did take a long time to learn stuff in the Mesolithic, and things did go a lot slower. So it is correct, but for me, I want I want more. I want more and I want it quicker. I basically want it now. Instant gratification gamer. That is me. <laughs> oh, we haven't got a lot of babies lately. But we have 54 females. I guess they're all old. No, they're not. 24. Mm. They are the lowest amount. Adults are the highest. And then children and then elderly. So it is working as intended. It is, it, it is looking good. So many people think, oh, they're four idle and 90 working. That's 94, but it's 95. But that is because the baby is not working. So whatever these are, they are not with the baby. Same as the tally of females versus males. Let me see how is the... the I don't think I'm going to need to add more ovens. I think we're doing fine. Let's just see how close they come to three quarters decayed away. See, there was two seconds of uh, honey before a child, before the children rushed to the basket to eat it, to eat it all up. Because it's sweets, it's candy. It probably was the candy of the day, wasn't it? Back in the Mesolithic and early Neolithic. It was the candy that they had. Because when did sugar come to Europe? That is quite much later. Quite, quite, quite. Let me see. You can see them growing! Dude! <laughs> you can see them growing! I love that! Did you guys see it? Did you see them slowly growing up? <laughs> that is awesome. That is fantastic. I love that. I love you can see it. <laughs> so nobody's sleeping out in the open. Let's see if that's still the case or if my math has gone completely wrong. No, nobody is sleeping out in the open. That means that nobody should have any bad grades or any bad faces, like angry faces, unless, like I suspect, they have a bad grade, which they do. You. His will is atrocious, so he will never leave. He can win jolly like. He is going to stay. Be sure. Okay, just a few more sleeps and then they are going to harvest the beets and I am going to put down my fisherman to two and let the pools replenish a bit. Still no boars? No. They will migrate or they will come to your area if your locality is the correct environment for the species. They will immigrate to you in smaller or larger packs and reproduce 
circle of life, etc, etc. I want to go see the size of my herds. I'm going to go have a look at the horses, for instance. They are always the ones who reproduce the slowest because, of course, they are large, aren't they? And it's not like horses all the time have twins and stuff like like the boars who have triplets and God knows how many they get at the same time. I'm going to, um, as soon as the work thingy goes on, I'm going to put on pause and then I'm going to, let me see, on horses. Go have a look. Okay, you're alone. You're a single male alone. Okay, here's a, a little flock. Let's see, okay. Oh, it's larger. Oh, dude. Yeah, that's why you have them post Lily, so they shan't go hunt them. Look, this is a good flock, isn't it? Look at it. This is nice. And another flock? Or is this the same one I just saw? It could be. <laughs> it could be. And this is a new flock. And this one belongs to the big one, doesn't it? So yeah, we have good flocks, don't we? Some small, some large. Some are singles. Yeah, this is good. Let's go back to those. Kill everything that eats up my food. Being very strict on that. I also don't want my <clears throat> stripper gatherers to go after hares because it's uh, basically a waste. So I'm letting the hunters take care of those quickly and swiftly and effectively. Because that's their only task so they can do it. While the gatherers are basically only supposed to take the stripping where the hunters do not do it. So I would prefer that the hunters did the hares. That's why I have those targeted as well. But the main is the boars. The boars are always the first ones I take get rid of and then I add um, if I want to stay longer I add the wild dogs and I add the hares but I can't look at it I can't go have a look because that makes me feel so bad but it is what it is you have to toughen up to play <laughs> Oh, so close. They are really close, both of them. Then there's only that one left. And after that, what am I going to do afterwards? What am I going to build afterwards? Should I, or should I not, try to get the Offington horse? But it's too flat. Maybe over here, perhaps. Too much stones that will mess up. I... So I've been trying to look for slopey hills that are slopey but not too slopey because then you can't place the fences. People can't reach the fences. Um, and it's really difficult to find. Really, really difficult to find. And I, I'm not going to make like a, a puny little one. It's going to be exact copy in the correct scale based on the environment from the Uffington horse. And I want to make it with flipping fire I've been dreaming about this for God knows how long. I keep trying, but there's always some hiccup with the slope, some hiccup with the stones being too far away. It's always something, isn't there? I always have an excuse <laughs> to not succeed. Yay me and my excuses. <laughs> right, so now we don't need to add more at the moment. Let's see how this goes. So pretty. I really like this. Okay, so 
so I need to get these ones going. Okay. So you can see that we had too many of the beets. No beets. The roots. They are going to decay a tad, methinks. So I don't particularly love that, I have to admit. I shouldn't have put the roots to 100, I should have just left them on 50. Because nobody likes the roots. I could have forced them to eat it up, but I can't be arsed. If I were you, I would do it though. If you are struggling, do it. <laughs> do it. <laughs> but you shouldn't be struggling. If you, if you are on a fairly okay place, you can get away with not having a superb balance all the time. Seriously, you can get away with having an okay balance and sometimes a bad balance. I mean, everybody has bad balance every now and then. It's not easy to get everything right all the time. So don't worry too much about that, but do try to rely much more on cultivated yield than on wild yield. yield. So save the wild ye yield for when you're in trouble. If you have a, a crop year going completely haywire, completely wrong. Yeah, I don't need another oven yet. They are doing fine. But let's see now that we have two full with wheat. See how that goes. Right, here we go. I see hundred and two hundred and ten already, and they are not even halfway through so this has been a good year at nice average temperature I'm gonna let them max it out Look at all the beads. This one can be beads too, I guess. They're almost done, and there's uh, like gonna be like 550 total, which is excellent. You know, my people is gonna devour the uh, the beets. They were standing queue for the beets because they love the beets. Should not be surprised in the slightest. <laughs> the entire tribe loves beets. But they are actually eating up the uh, the roots, so they are they are quite good with going for food that is 
uh, low on longevity or is about to expire but there of course is some waste you can see the thickness is high so some of this is waste and not only people being good and eating I kind of had that coming I should have not taken it to a hundred I will not make that mistake again unless we are going into a famine which I don't think we will have an issue with because we have uh, basically a little bit too much food so yeah, I will see how they look in the summer or, or autumn to see the rot circle on the produce pending their uh, season harvest and when they're going out. And if it's too much, I will just lower it. Yeah, you can see that's not much. 503, yeah, there was over 550 or in total, wasn't it? It was quite good. Okay. Yeah, go make the breads. When you see the cog it means it has things it can work with it's ready for work but when you see this it means it needs to be um, fed something in this case it needs to be fed flour and now it got flour and now the cog tells you ready for work ready to work is that a remnant of a roman path Roman road it could be if we've been in England for sure but we're not we're in France did the pesky Romans ever invade France now that's the question I actually don't remember they did have a lot of fun in England I'll tell you that <laughs> what did the Romans ever do for us I think that is the uh, the best way to describe how much the Romans actually did for the English. <laughs> Not that they necessarily want to admit it, by all means, but I think the rest of us knows better. <laughs> it's like uh, with the the War of the Roses between the Lancastrians and the you know the white rose and the red rose and uh, some of the uh, Yorkshire people say that they've just uh, gone on a tactical retreat the fight is not over <laughs> they didn't lose to the Lancastrians they just had a tactical retreat <laughs> oh that is funny every time I hear it and they do also claim that Yorkshire is its own country and is surrounded by England. And they also have their own passports. <laughs> ah. Oh, dude. It's quite funny. You know, if you want to insult a Scottish uh, person, ask him if he's English. <laughs> if you want to insult him even more, say, you are British. <laughs> Okay, I'm going to have a riot on my hands, aren't I? <laughs> I'm going to have a riot of players cursing me up and down the walls. <laughs> and they're all going to be Scottish. <laughs> oh, I should force some Scottish people to come play with me. Then I would record their voices when they talk Scottish, because it's the best accent in the world. The best ever. Would love to have that constantly every day but I ain't that lucky okay so 
now goes the wheat. The wheat should be fairly rich as well now. Uh, you're seven. Okay, so I can go down to 112. What is this? That 50? 37? No, I'm going to go to 75. Then they will fill up those who are uh, available to be taken and just keep those that I'm going to save for seeding. Yep. Good thing we have this uh, built-in flashlight, otherwise we couldn't do anything during night, could we? Look at this one, still going strong. This is old as heck, I think I might lose it soon. And this one has been reseeding here. And here, so they're going to come up a few new bushes there, and the old ones go away. And these two, here's a few new ones as well. You can see the small ones are coming up, slowly but surely. So you could be really unlucky when you land and have the seed dissemination make so that a lot of your plant produce, uh, the things that produce your, your plant produce, is actually still in the ground or just so small that they are basically saplings and they will take some time to grow up. So just keep that in mind if you land and you feel, oh, there's so little produce here, it will come. Next year they will start coming up and you will have plenty of food normally. If you have a good seed, you might actually have a year zero feasting, which I lack so many times. I just wish I had more of those, but I don't. I don't. So these are nettles for anyone who does not know. They will give you plant fiber. But for those that don't know the difference between plant fiber uh, by the riverside versus reed. This is reed and this is plant fiber. Also tall grass. This is tall grass. It will grant you reed, straw and fiber. And of course flax will also grant you plant fiber. While wheat will give you straw. So you should be covered with regards to building materials. And this will also be a little bit more tweaked so that we can live for several decades in the same area. Unless we are playing like schmackadoodles and use up everything in one year. Shouldn't do that. Don't harvest a million when you don't need a million. Harvest what you need and that's it. No question asked. Just remember that waste nothing oh I'm going to need a one of, another one of these don't I because when the uh, threshing of the wheat is going on there will be an overproduction whether we like it or not I think I'm going to put it here here it's good how are we doing with these oh only one left oh my god that only took 12 years. It only took 12 years, didn't it? <laughs> Almost there. We already have enough stones in, or raw stones in the camp to make it. And then we're going to start this one. That one is tribe only, and it should not be tribe only. I'm going to see which ones I have for these. Yeah, you're going to do that one as well, if I can find it. There you go. Ta da! So basically only let the, your free people take care of the monument so nothing else suffers. You might not notice it when your tribe is fairly small and you have a good balance. But if you are struggling with huge tribes, you need to only let free people do it. And uh, if you don't have free people, then so be it. Don't meddle about with things that you do not need. Oh, we're getting slow on food again, aren't we? OK, 
okay, I'm gonna fiddle with this until we have more produce. I know I said I wasn't gonna do it, but you can see it's fairly low and I don't dare not to. So I don't want people to die from famine. But I am going to leave the uh, roots where they are because they are just annoying. So the uh, next sleep, the uh, um, nuts will be in season. Isn't it next sleep? Or maybe two sleeps. Or some of them could be early as well. So let's keep an eye on them. This one is old as heck. I don't think it's going to last much longer. But I can't see a sapling from it. I can't see an offspring. Spying on it. Oh! <laughs> Here you are. Can you see the nuts are falling down on the ground? Yep. And they will produce every day for as long as they are in season. And if you don't harvest everything in one go, they can last several extra months as well, but with a certain decay rate as well. So keep that in mind. Look at that. Nice. I have to close these down. Just make sure they get filled up in time. I keep ramming my hand into my microphone. <laughs> Not good. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to let them gather up a bit more stone before I open this one up. can close this one can't I because I only have one of those so I think uh, when this is done I'm going to add um, another one of each of these I think so it will be your wheat. oh you have one of the babies yeah and you have another one of the babies, your wheat too. And you are beets too, you're fine. And you are peas, your flax. And you of course have these too. And the little one over here. Yeah, okay. So I'm gonna add the uh, uh, peas too and flax too. I'm just need these to be done first. I'm going to take this area here for one and then I'm going to take this area here for the next. Because there's plenty of space to build huts and whatnot around here. Yep.
Good, because it's not supposed to take those. So that's good. That's excellent. You guys are going to do peace. Peace. Let me see if I got that right. I could have mixed up. No, piece two, that is correct. And then let's make a gate. <clears throat> mm. No, don't need more. Oh, I didn't like that. What is it? Oh, it's because it's in connection with two. Let's take it one notch to the left then. There we go. Ta -da. That's all it needed, is it? Yeah. And I'm going to give you six. Let's let them work on that for a bit. And then I'm going to prepare the last farmer's group, which is going to be flax. Flax. And you are going to do this side. Yep. Let's get the gates up as well. Because now all the harvesting is done, so it is basically just to... get things built while they are not super busy wait a minute is that it is yeah no you're not taking that one we are going to make sure you don't you may not take any of these okay so what does it want to take there let's just make sure it doesn't take anything that's coming up as well uh, you are not taking that one. Did I get it? I did, didn't I? Because it's now wanting to crop the grass and not anything else. Good, good. maxed out as well I'm gonna wait till they've built this one here so don't steal away too many people in one go I'm also going to take away until this one and then everything down here and I'm gonna take away this and all the way until this one so that is the last one to be taken Yep. All of this.
The efficiency is scary. It's just so efficient, isn't it? If you do it right and you don't overtax your people, they are super efficient. Let's see. Avoid. Avoid the uh, killing of rose bushes. I'm gonna make a, a, a gate there. No, I'm gonna make one of those. There you go. So they can go directly and peel. Peel the rose bushes, rosy bushes. Okay. Oh, that was done already, okay. So, what are we looking for with regards to amount of sticks that we have? Let me have a look. Where are the sticks? My eyes, seriously. There you go. 17, right. So that means we're going to lack a little bit. So, I'm going to start dismantling these. But of course, dismantling has a lower priority than uh, building and repairing. So, but this will give some sticks back to the camp, to the tribe when they're being dismantled. So let's just get it done. So is this one, no this one is on this one, okay that means I can take that one and not break the point of connection, okay. Oh and this one is complete, okay that means I will, let me see, I will take this. one has a connection with that one okay so this is the last one yeah you can see it's connected with that one and this is connected with nothing so that means that this this one is superfluous and can go because the this this one has connection with the fence on both sides that means that this one is not needed if I'm wrong I will have animals crawling into my area and eating up my crops then I will be grumpy and I will hunt them all just saying do not mess with my crops <laughs> Right, so now we have two of absolutely everything. That's eight farms. So we could, in theory, be a little bit more effective and give them eight per group. Because we still have tons of free people. So we can easily do this and still be okay with the uh, 
straggler groups doing other chores. Yep. Does that make sense? It's a lot of rain lately. What the heck? Almost there. I wanted to see how it would be if I built a log fence around all these. It might be a pain in the beep, but uh, we overproduced so many logs, didn't we? We did, didn't we? We had like 80 plus or something for a tiny tribe. Oh, these guys soon need repairs again, you can see. These are good. And these have gotten their repair, so they look good. that can wait till much later with the log uh, fencing but you know when 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 raiding comes if we are getting raided too then we are certainly going to need them just saying so be prepared to have lumberjacks up and down the walls to get enough logs to create protection around your city gosh it's going to be going to be hard work isn't it but so far i think we are just going to be able to loot other tribes for now at least in the first iteration. Then we're probably going to have our ass handed to us in another iteration, I'm sure of it, because there's no way... Oh, what's this? Is this fog? There you go. See, this can cause a bad harvest. You see? This can be a bad harvest, but it's very cosy, isn't it? I love it. I can't help it. <laughs> I think it's so cool. So we had minus for a little bit, minus degrees for a little bit, which is why we had the snow. That's fine. I just hope that it doesn't uh, affect our crops too much when we start tilling and planting soon. But they do not like when it's too cold. Just, uh, yeah. Making sure it's covered. I do not want animals to come eat my food. Yeah, that one is good. Just making sure. It's always better safe than sorry.
looking good. Well, at least they're eating off the uh, the nuts, so it's not like they're going to go to waste. And um, I have the limits on everything else, but it's uh, way past season for the uh, rose hips, so they are coming to camp almost completely decayed away, but people do eat them, so here's to that. But yeah, you can see they are really enjoying the nuts as well. Always good. a bit of um, grain there they are over halfway do I need another oven I might need another oven and another mill mm. Mm -hmm. yeah I think better safe than sorry oh I'm gonna have this the other way And then I'm going to place the mod production to 250 on whoever is doing those. You. Because that is what each um, oven is needing. I'm just going to place it. Now, where should I put it? Oh my god. Like this? You don't need to have everything in, in a line. You can have it a bit different. I could probably place it somewhere else as well, but that is so unpractical. Oh, it's much more efficient to have everything put together. Like I said, I don't build for beauty. I'm sorry. I build for efficiency. Practicality. Oh yeah, we need to put you on pause until we have the uh, the mod. Sorry, I knew that. <laughs> Here we go, we're tilling again. So now you guys have, was it eight? Yeah, you have eight, so it should be quickly done. So when this one is gone, oh no, it's going to be several thousand before it's gone, never mind. But when it eventually is gone, then I'm going to fill out the field over it. sure there are no animals sneaking in at night no sapling from you I would really like one though at least one mm-hmm gif offspring but it can take years before they come up anyway, so let's start. I'm, yeah, I'm going to put this one back. And then I'm going to let the group that were doing the, uh, the mud go back down to... 50 in maintenance. The only reason I have 50 is if I ever lack mu um, sticks uh, then the um, rot is starting to take the second material when all the sticks are gone 
and when the sticks reach zero then it goes to start taking the mud so that's why i have 50. and since it's not a super critical um material it's not critical in the slightest uh, i do not mind wasting 50 per year that is fine that is absolutely acceptable better safe than sorry i don't think i dare to move this one do i it could look like it's just in the connection point i think so yeah i'll leave it i'll leave it Oh, 17 left. 14 left. 13. Almost there. Yeah, when January ticks into February, they will start doing the planting of the wheat. Do I have? Do I have two? I have one. That is fine. You can see that the ratio is quite okay. Ratio is fine. Ooh, eight. Seven. <laughs> of a countdown it's five <laughs> four three two one ignition okay so now let's uh, have them gathering a few of those undisturbed so they can gather non-stop instead of Having to gather and then go build and then gather and then build like we had earlier. Let's just do it this way as well because you can do it in any way you like. Whatever you want to do, you just do. Whatever works for you, go, go, go. Mixing it up is never a bad idea to see what works best for your tribe because it doesn't always have to be the same for each tribe. I do wish that you would give me a sapling though. Please give me a sapling. So these have little ones coming up all the time. That's great. There are babies everywhere. Let's see if I can go find the next uh, set of nuts. I want to see if they are uh, having babies coming up. Yeah, this one do, doesn't he? No, it was grass. You tricked me. How could you? Plenty tall grass for both reed and uh, straw. I'm not ever worried about plant fiber anymore after we got the flax that gives uh, plant fiber because we're always getting a lot of plant fiber, which is excellent because you will use it when time goes by. When you get uh, oh, oh, look at this one. This one is uh, coming up. It has only taken a ton of years to get to this. So perhaps in three, three more years, it will be ready to uh, give. Uh, it's uh, fruits, who knows? I have seen very, very little, if any, of the uh, blackberries. Where are all the blackberries? Why are there none here? Maybe it is a little bit too warm for them because they do thrive quite well in colder climates. This is uh, this is roots, allium roots, nettles. I'll see if I can see any. Oh, hello, horses! If I can see any uh, 
berry plants that will uh, give berries because now we haven't touched them for quite a while have we look this is what I mean with that the uh, the ground is covered with mushrooms so if we don't pluck them they will reseed and then one year you can go and get like 200 so it's kind of a bit of a a, a, a seasonal feast you know but you need to give them time to re reseed so you don't always harvest up everything this is why limits are so so important if you want to stay long term remember that ladies and gentlemen remember 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 i can't find a single uh, blackberry bush come on really no it's probably too warm Nothing else makes sense. So we've been here how long? <clears throat> 13 years. Look at all the reed. If you play smart, you can stay for decades. I'm not even kidding and I'm showing you right now how you do it. You have to play smart, be stingy rather underbuild rather instead of overbuild look this is where the rivers are, are meeting this is the cross I wonder if I will have any blackberries at all in this area maybe not it is rather warm isn't it a bit too warm perhaps Maybe I've forgotten what they look like and I'm going past them all the time and I just don't see them. That could be it. Could be it. Horses everywhere, aren't they? Ah, yeah. Hey, look at the food. Okay, so it's um. See, you have 161, that's plenty enough, and you are done with seeding, so I'm going to open it up. And I'm certainly going to take down the, uh, the staples. Back to 50. No, no, you didn't! Oh my goodness, I ruined the connection, didn't I? I shouldn't have taken away that one, should I? Flipping heck! I did ruin the connection, didn't I? Fiddlesticks. Crikey fiddlesticks. Oh, that is so flipping annoying. And it won't let me build over the connection because it is... Yeah, because... Yeah, two, two gates it is. It is what it is. So I'm going to do something to scare away the horses. I am going to do what I normally do, which is, is to basically place down items to scare them out from the area so people will go in a certain pattern and then the animals will flee accordingly and then you keep building to make sure that they go the right way this one will go away go away go away okay then we build here and then we build here. If I can't get rid of them, I have to hunt them down. And I really, really don't want to do that. Okay, so do I have any now? There's one. There's two. Okay, I'm going to place one here. Go out, go out, go out. 
Wait, are you locked in already? I have to hunt you if you don't go out. Sorry, it is what it is. You need to go out. Go, 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 go. Have they completed the uh, gate? They have. Okay, that means I have to hunt those two. Okay, it is what it is. An elder male and an elder female. I am so sorry, but you have to go. I can't have you here. Oxy daisy. I did not want this at all. This is what you get when you mess up your connection points. Don't fiddle with your flipping connection points. Sorry, I'm so sorry. But it has to be done. Now I need to keep an eye on that they don't go for more than those. can just as well take away these because I got rid of the majority of them. But um, not the last two. Sorry guys, I don't want to watch. I'm just going to turn my back. I don't want to watch. I don't care if you make fun of me. I don't want to watch. I know it's pixels. But I didn't want this to happen. I just want them to do it and then get done with it. That's not what I wanted to do. That's one. Where's the other one? And that's the other one. Then I will immediately take them off. I'm sorry guys, it is what it is. Go back to doing those only now. Oh, did I forget to take away the horses? Are you serious? Okay. Let's get rid of these and this. Did I have more? This one... Yep. Okay. That's it. Okay, let's get back on track. I knew this was going to happen. I took a chance and I messed it up. Experiment, fail, learn. The best excuse for evil scientists ever. <laughs> but let's not go into that. <laughs> Well, we call them evil today, don't we? But in fact, it, it wasn't considered evil when they did it back in the day, like hundreds of years ago, a hundred years ago, even just 50 years ago, you still have issues. I mean, the last, uh, for me, objectionable experiment that was done was done by, was it Mary Ainsworth? Where she on purpose had mothers leave their children to see the, how the kids would react. Even when they cried and stuff. Don't like that. So that's why I think when you're doing experiments like that, or watching people, the watching is what you should do only. Watching in a natural environment and not put in, because then you will get the best, uh, the best results in my opinion. But that's just my opinion. 
so there's that. Okay, so everything is tilled and ready and ready for planting as well. Good. Good, good. Okay, so you... So when they go too low down as well, you have the issue that they become broken. So always have enough material to fix and repair your stuff. And don't overtax your, your people. So they don't have time to do the repairs. Repairs on, on fences are super important. Especially those fences that is guarding your crop. This one has been keeping up for quite a while, hasn't he? He's kept the, the labour age quite high. Yeah, so be careful with the connection point when you are removing fences. Always make sure the connection point is there. But this one looks like it's lacking connection point, but actually it isn't. I'll show you. So if I take the uh, the fencing, you can see that even though I tried to connect it, it says no, you can't place it there because there's already a connection there. So it's superfluous. Oh, I didn't see you there. Or did I? You're not too old. Yeah, I knew there was going to be one growing there. Just need to make sure that it's not going to get cut. Yeah, yeah, it's good. Excellent. So we are 95. Yeah, the elderly are, you know dying one by one and there's not too many pregnant but we still have 54 fem 55 females or oh, the baby that just became a toddler is a female <laughs> how many do you have 20 that's not a lot stop eating the beets guys seriously we're not gonna have enough now I can't trust you guys to do anything, can I? I might give up on these, but I can't because they are so important to to have because they are the first income of a cultivated yield after the winter. that into something else so it can become a full unit or two depending on where it's going I should have all of these moved to the big one for longevity Means this. Oh, look at that. It became 23, 25. Good, good, good. So you can have back your original designation 81. Just eat up 83. So you see. I did, I did good with adding another oven, it seemed to be needed to be honest. 
Yupa. For a moment I thought it was uh, a hazelnut tree sprouting up there, but alas it was not. So now we have an okay balance, when I do not screw up shit of course, then we have an okay balance. So it's a little bit lean back and watch now for me. Now I just hope that uh, this has done the trick, it has done the trick. So there was like a tiny sliver of lost connection point. You can see that the little one to the left was the point that was lost because this one was attached to the one I had this way. So when I, I risked it, by taking away this one, it opened up like a, a millimeter for the little rascals to get in. Of course they did it. Well, two of them paid with their lives. So they were fairly old though, so I don't feel too bad. If it had been kids, little ones, little foals, I would have done it differently. I would have uh, made an opening to uh, get them out. One way or the other. Are you alone? You're a female. Where are your siblings? Maybe you want to start your own your own herd? Sure. You do you. Six hundred and ninety. So this needs is it is it five thousand it needs? I need to check what it needs. Five thousand, yeah. Why are there stones there? Is there a... Are you guys lazy? Really? You can't be asked running over there with the stones? I can't believe I have to do this for you. Probably need to add a few more storage areas for the the other tools for more tools. Do not have one area for the other tools. Really? Can't believe I forgot that. That's a bit pop up. Can't have that. Out. Let's add a few of those then. Should also make a few for the other tools as well, shouldn't I? So they can be gathered one place. So they'll strewn around everywhere. Oh, here's some of them. But is this one full? Is that why they're going elsewhere? Yeah, it looks like it. I need to make more. Let's make more. I 
Hold on. And it's raining. If the pregnancy rate is going to be like this, I might have to accept the next uh, batch of migrants. At least if there's a few females, because I think a lot of my females are either really young or very old. We do have 35 elderly, and the moment you tick 50, you can no longer become pregnant. And that's also when you're considered elderly. You're pregnant. The other one was pregnant. Is it that one? Which one was it? It was you. You're five. Look at your siblings. Your parents are also still alive. Yep. Oh, they have stayed together all their lives. Look at them. They have the same. The kids they have are both kids. That is a bit rare. At least in the animal kingdom. Well, not everyone is uh, having several life partners or several partners. Like the swan, the bird likes to be with the same partner. It's, it's her entire life. Her entire life. That's just one of them. And there's the, um, the, the swallow as well do the same. They choose a partner for life. Eight hundred. I can wait a bit longer before I let them do anything. I can, I can. You see some of the stones, they really are shaped like hearts. Seriously. <laughs> it's like they've done it on purpose. How adorable. Oh, you need repairs, so that's why this one needs to be locked. So you can transfer that over to this one. Otherwise, the tribe will happily eat it up, because they are super greedy when it comes to beets. They love beets. Now, when the repairs are done, I'm going to put the allocation to something else, so that they can empty it. Ta-da! And then you can have your allocation back. There you go. So nice. So these that we cannot place over has something growing underneath. So there will be like we had in the start, we had a mix of several types of crop in, in one field. <laughs> you see here, then we have, this is of course a piece and they have uh, beets and they have uh, flax <laughs> as well. Sure, why not? Oh, 
What are... Did I put these down? I did. Yeah. Good. Good, good. So, uh, next year, I think year 14, I'm going to put uh, the entire group on mushrooms and then we're going to have mushroom feast in the uh, late autumn. Horses are very close all the time, aren't they? I think that's your mama, isn't it? It is your mama. And your daddy. You have both your family members there, and that's your sibling, and she is... Uh, not here. Where is she? Oh, she's all the way over there. You should go to your parents, although you are a, a grown horse, you don't don't need your family as such. But family is important. It's got to be with family. Oh yeah, some ask about um, the uh, yield per per farm, but it's better to say yield per plot. So beets are supposed to be between 0 0.5 and perhaps 0 0.78 on uh, uh, best environment. The highest yield you will ever get is from the peas and the wheat. The wheat can become over 1.5 per plot, especially down in Spain. Spain has the highest yield of, of wheat, without a doubt. And uh, peas are roughly 0 0.6 to 0 0.9-ish, maybe 0, maybe 1 on very good places with good temperatures, while the rest is kind of like between 0 0.5-ish and to 0 0.8-ish, very good uh, yield that is. Most normal is 0 0.5 to 0 0.6-ish. So if you calculate a maxed out farm, which is 21 plots times 21 plots, then you get 441 plots, and then you need to take away those that have nothing growing on them, or at least not what you want to count. And then you take the entire yield you got and divide it on those plots, then you will get your, um, your yield per plot. But you need to remember that temperature can lower it for a year or two and it can also heighten it for a year or two. So it is it is fluctuating. But the average is what I just said, between 0 0.5 and 0 0.8-ish. So now you know that. And also just a small reminder, if you do not have enough wooden spears to do all the planting, they will use more seeds because then they are hand seeding and that means more waste. So keep that in mind as well, please. To save enough seeds, if you don't have enough wooden spears, you will need more seed. See how we're doing with the food. Plenty beets, I see. Okay, so that was 75 and I'm going to leave it on 75. And then this one can be open up for people to eat as much as they like. And I really should have this one too, shouldn't I? So it's not laying out in the open. It's not like they won't eat it. They are beelining for it. Oh, those deer yeah oh don't look at my gates please go away oh no I've covered the uh, the lack of connection point haven't I you say I have I have otherwise the horses would have been there long time ago feasting on my wheat it's not 
surprised I couldn't find a single um, blackberry bush. They normally come in season roughly October-ish, September, October-ish. And they like it fairly cold. But it's not that warm here. I mean, we had snow for crying out loud. Isn't that cold enough? Seriously? Yeah, I might need to, to whinge a bit to the devs about that. Because they should be here. At least in, in some amounts. But you are more likely to find more of them the further up north you go. That, uh, yeah. At least that's what testing has been showing. Because I can't find them anywhere. But well, you can easily test it when autumn starts. Place a group with like four people in it and have only um, berries as their task. And if they never come home with any or if it, the, the exclamation mark shows that we can't get any berries, just wait until winter is well past. And then you know for a fact that, yeah, we do not have any, any of the blackberries in this area. can tell by the dip in the materials that they are repairing two huts they have repaired two huts this one's gonna take 25 before it's uh yeah Ta -da. See how quickly they eat up the uh, the beets. They love the beets. This tribe, seriously, go eat up the root. Do it. <laughs> okay, let me see how much do I have of. Yeah, so those are gone. That means that I can close up this one. Ta-da. Are you guys really standing in line, all of you, just to get beets? Are you serious? Really? There is food everywhere else. Come on. There's fish. There's flax. Come on. Oh, don't do this to me. Don't do this to me. What? No more? Well then. Then you had to go the other way. <laughs> you had to go get the other food whether you liked it or not. Okay, so that's not going to last very long. So I'm going to put up this. Let's see. And also this. I might not need it though. If I see it going overboard, I'm just going to take it down again. But we didn't really have enough of the uh, beets, did we? Because people ate up basically all the seeds except, except 25. And one fall needs roughly 30 when you have wooden spear. So we kind of had that coming. They're just so extremely greedy when it comes to the beets. Okay, you are good. And these are ready now as well. Yeah, excellent. These will take a little bit longer. A few more sleeps. Right, so now we have two of all the farms. This better be enough, guys, seriously. 
a little bit uh, need of tweaking on the balance between the workforce input and the yield outcome on the farms. So that still needs to be done and then it will be a little bit more balanced, which is kind of needed for us to stay sedentary. Because we can't keep building farms and farms and when we don't have the people to, to, to uh, work the farms, no point, is there? Yeah, you're going to need like 50. Yeah, just making sure we have everything we need. So these are going to be in season as soon as it ticks over to October. Then they're going to release their nuts. So we can pick them up. People eat the what the uh, the raw produce because we are a little bit low. So you can fiddle about for years to get the balance, and then can it change every year as well? So it's really difficult to get it right first hand try. But as long as you're not losing people to famine or they're leaving because they're constantly hungry and very unhappy, you, you, you can allow yourself to experiment a little bit, but you need to, to adjust, that's for sure. Otherwise, you will have famine and people will leave you. And this is one of the things that uh, maybe some players do not remember that they should do. Um, the over-harvest will cause your workers having to go further and further away to get the same amount that you had the first year. So remember that. So be stingy. I keep saying it. Be stingy on the wild produce. Seventy-five. You're you good. Twenty, twenty, twenty-four, fifty. I'm gonna let uh, these be open as well, because we have plenty incoming. And same with these. I'm gonna let those be open as well, because we have plenty of those incoming as well. You can see, we have plenty just to get them over the the little ache that we're going through now. It's like basically hand to mouth at the moment. But everyone gets food, although they can't, um, you know, glutton on any of them. Look at them standing in line to get the last few of these. This is the thing, this is a bottleneck you can't avoid when you have little food. Because uh, at, at one point or another, you will have the last pit with the last food. And hence you'll have people in a long ass line. If you want to avoid that at all, which I will do when the tribe is large, 150 plus, I will remove these pits or assign them to, uh, to something completely different and not the, any of the staples. I'm going to make several cells that should take uh, the roots, the rose hips and the nuts, basically. Then you avoid all the cues. No kidding. Okay, so now the 
wheat is almost done harvested so it's time for these let me see i assume a one or two more sleeps then they're going to start harvesting these as well where the peapods why can't i see the peapods probably because i'm blind Oh yeah, I can see them. Never mind, I can see them. They're hanging there. Yep. Not going blind. Thank goodness. siblings is pregnant she's four. Oh, love thunder oh let's have a look let me look at you you are 49 you're okay but you're getting old you're a boy and are you butterfingers no i mean are you imbecile i'm looking for butterfingers and imbecile If you're about to fix, I'm going to laugh my ass off. No, you're not. <laughs> mm. well, at least they have uh, skills. And not rudimentary. They are quite developed. I don't know. Should I take those or not? I'm, oh. You know, this is torture. This is so tempting to just take them. But I need to make sure I have enough food. I, I'm sorry, I can't take you. Go to the one to the west. They have food. <laughs> My excuse, and I'm sticking to it. <laughs> you see, I now have an overweight of elderly, and they are slowly but surely dying. But we have so many people free that we don't need to rely on the migrants for workforce, and we don't need to rely on the migrants to get scales because the hunting will go slowly but surely down fine because I, I don't really want to hunt a lot um, the tanning will be roughly where it is now with very small jumps up and down depending on if the max skill holder die before uh, anyone has picked up uh, I should really build another tanner to avoid that shouldn't I because that means two will work on the rudimentary skill and increase it so I'm going to add another one where I'm going to put it. I have the other one there, so I guess I could put this one here. Sure. Close to where it's, uh, it's stored. Mm -hmm. Like so. And here comes the piece. So I'm gonna lock you. At 62, because that is roughly, roughly two farms.
Oh, it's good amounts coming in now of the peas. Let's see how it goes over winter though and spring because that is always the the time where food is really low. Of course, if we kept migrating all the time, food would never be an issue. You can have like 500 people and you won't be starving if you just migrate every two, three years. Sure. But that's not the point of this uh, this play along. Because people want to see how they can manage more than 10 years, same locality, or even 20 for that matter. So that's what we are going to do. It is work though. You know, you can't just sit and watch the game play itself. That's not going to work. Then you're going to lose people to famine and they're going to leave you. I thought I removed that one. What the heck? Were there two? I might have placed two. I don't even remember it. Mm. Okay, so we have quite a bit of, of those. So that's like eight, nine sleeps. So that's um, over two months. Yeah, so let's see how that goes. What did I put these on? Was it 150 on each? Yeah. But they are only eight. Let's put them up to 12 because then the, uh, the, the income will be higher. I'm not going to do more on the roots because people just don't like them. Okay, so there's several peas lying in the open because I don't have enough storage uh, facilities for them. Well, berries we never see, so I can just as well let them have that one. There's still one berry here that they can have, the berries, the two units next year <laughs> how old did you get 72 and you have a son and a daughter and a smart son With a very stupid. <laughs> they always find the complete and utter opposite of themselves. It never fails. So she is big, but still neutral. Gosh, that's quite a jump between them. The 14 years. Damn. And she. She's uh, inherited some of her father's. Um, skills you can see that but he's uh, he's very small but since he has a uh, high uh, fitness his lack of of of, uh, of uh, um, size is only you take away two from the 23 then he's only 21 and it's still strong so not bad at all see how well he's doing with what he's doing he, he loves to process food doesn't he and he's definitely ta -da, a crafter definitely definitely it was quite amazing to see how these amazingly skilled people with lots of uh, positive grades find the complete opposite of themselves so often it is not even a joke it happens all the time it, it's uh, Going against the grains that equal people play the best. No, I mean, the best saying here is that opposites do attract. Certainly do. Okay, so now the balance is a little bit poorer, I see on the... Uh, but you see, you can see the uh, DK, so it's good that it goes over to being these. Because that means they can be immediately uh, used. I'm going to uh, no 
There's still plenty of those left. I think I have to place down another one for those. Because one is not really enough. Ooh. It's a lot of thunder in this place in France. Is it like that in real life as well? A lot of thunder? So now it will go a little bit quicker because they're almost halfway to decay away. So we need to speed up that process a little bit so we don't lose the raw crop. I don't need to lock these yet. Still 164 and 145. Yep, looking good. Uh, I'll chill on the. Uh, Okay, I think, see it's so late for the uh, rose hips that they are three quarters uh, decayed already, so I'm going to take them down again. So they, no, that's not what I wanted to do. That was the wrong one. <laughs> there you go. That's more like it. It helps also to increase the amount of people you have, because then they will come home quicker with the, uh, the limit that you have set. If you are good on food and trickle is nice and keeping your people happy, then you don't have to, of course. Adjust by need, not by want. Not always easy, especially when it comes to migrants. It's always uh, difficult to say no to them because you want more and more and more, don't you? I want them all, but I can't. We have an agenda that we need to follow. See, this one here is connection point between these two. So if I take away this one, there's going to be a sliver between these. I do hope that uh, this gets sorted. I'm going to report this to the devs. Because, um, yeah, it's not only how I build. This is something that should not happen because this should have connection point with this one as well. But maybe it doesn't quite work like that. So keep keep um, keep it keep that in mind when you are building fences that you are removing afterwards to let the connection point stay, at least until you've uh, saved your game, and then you re remove it. And if the connection point goes away, you will see animal come in. So then you can just reload your game and go back and and do it differently. Yeah, makes sense. Okay, so now it's almost time to till again. Oh, we haven't had to freeze, almost said, to lock down any of the grains because, um, yeah, they are still doing good. We don't have to lock down this one either because we have so much of it. So I think we've come to the point where we can basically turn off a lot of the wild produce and just uh, let it trickle and then just give them time to reseed. So when you are almost 100 and you can go this low on food, you're doing good. But the balance is fine now. We have managed to, to get the farms up and running and probably had a good year as well because we didn't have a snowstorm this winter, did we? It was last winter, so. So when uh, the ground now should be nice and warm for the tilling and planting of the wheat. Oh, she's pregnant. So this is your first child, okay. How many kids does he have? No, he has not. This is the first for him as well. Okay then. There's a 12 year, dif year difference. It means absolutely nothing. Unless he is 100. <laughs> no, it doesn't matter then either. It's more if like, if I see 16. And he is 28, then it matters a bit more, doesn't it? Now, what is 16 plus 2? 18. What's 16 plus 18? Yeah, that's what I went to say. Oh my god. Never mind. I'll just give up on anything that has to do with maths. Crikey. If my life was in danger and I had to do simple maths, I would die. <laughs> Let there be no mistake. <laughs> 
You know, some things are so logic. Maths is logic, but I don't get that logic. I have a different type of logic. I have Lily logic. It doesn't include maths. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's a new new type of logic. <laughs> Let me see. Is this the one that has uh, that is pregnant? Is this the? Let me see. This is her first. She's six years old. Here's her couple. Yeah. So, shall we see if there are any? Um, let's have a look and see if there are any blackberries, because they should still be in season. So I'm going to put on pause, and I'm actually going to go see what they're doing. Gathering berries. I want to see where you are picking your berries and what berries they are. Where is he? Where did he go? There he is. <laughs> blackberries! We found them! We found them! Two blackberries. <laughs> are they all going to the same place? Let's see if they're all going to these two. Do we have two? <laughs> We have two blackberries. <laughs> no, she's going different places. Let's have a look where she's going. Let me see. All the way, all the way over there. That's quite far away. Oh, oops. By the edge, are you serious? Oh, there's quite a few here, isn't there? Look at that. Quite a few here. Here is where they all are. They are hiding by the flipping border. Well, isn't that typical? Right. So this is the, the absolute end of when they are um, in season. This is uh, the last month along with the uh, part of December. And then we can no longer get them. Yeah, yeah. Blackberries, raspberries. Okay, let's see how many they can come up with. So make do our, our little test. What do you say, girls? Let's test it out. It's going to be a waste, isn't it? Gosh. You will have to take the place. Now. So everything has a little bit in it, so... Go for those, they've been out of season for a bit. Let's see how many they can come home with. Okay, it's midday, so I haven't given them a full day, but let's see. <clears throat> so you won't see what they have until they come home, because you can no longer see what's in their inventory. You can only see whatever is in camp, and that's it. So even if you have 14 hunters out with 10 food each, you cannot see it until they come and store it in camp. Just so don't despair if you see that they come home with nothing because they are, um, up until they have stored them, they have nothing. Ta-da. Okay, now uh, sleep time. Maybe they didn't reach before it was too late. <laughs> Maybe they're so far away. Crikey. 11. Oh, oh. People ate them up. Yeah, let's just say that they love berries. Let's just say that for, for free. Let me see if they're still in, in season. They should go out any moment now. December is the last month we should have them, but maybe maybe some will survive in early spring, early winter. Let's have a look, let's, let's have a look. I'm just playing around a tad. If you are struggling with your balance, don't do this. Or oh, don't do it. Do it if you have what you need, plus plus. If you lack stuff, be careful with messing about too much. So let's see. Okay, storing berries. So he's coming home. What does he have? What does he have? What does he have? Oh, he has a full full packet. So 10 is the allocation. So there's 10 that he's delivered. 20 from another. 40, 40. Look at that. <laughs> 50. See? This is what I mean. If you leave things for a few years, let them reseed. You can have a party later. We were a little bit late with the party though, I have to admit. 
we did not uh, do it in time. We should have done it late um, late September, early October, because that's when they start to come in spring. Look at them, look at that, look at that. And they also ate a lot. Okay, so now we know I'm going to to leave them back to their to their chore, to their normal tasks. And then we can have another celebration next year perhaps for these things. So just let whatever is left reseed. As long as we kill all the boars, the boars will not eat them up, which is kind of half the point. Okay, let ha let's have a look here and see what these are. Okay, you female. You look good. You look fantastic. You could be our next leader, seriously. Yeah, she good. She good. Mm -hmm. A mix. Mixed feelings. He's going to live a really long time, though. Look at. First has... Strong, plus 31, and he is pretty big. So he's 38 alone there, but he is a bit hesitant and a, a smidgen aloof. You love to walk alone. I accept that you love to walk alone. It's good for everyone every now and then. Don't you worry about that little bubble. Oh, he is... Oh, this collisions of good with bad. I mean, that's us, isn't it? We have both good and bad, don't we? You're quite feeble. You're quite weak, aren't you? You're indecisive. Mm, that's bad. Unhandy. Eh, don't care too much about that. But you are a quick learner. So you could do well. Even though you don't really want to or can work all the same work hours. Ugh. I always worry when I get people that has too many of these unfriendly sure indecisive eh, that's a lot he will sing though but it does he is very big so he's plus eight and he is quick hmm he looks good he looks good and she looks good shall i take them okay i'll take them <gasps> i'm gonna regret it aren't i i'm gonna so regret it it's gonna go in the famine next year aren't we because i haven't uh, on the balance properly. Oh, crikey, fiddlestick Christ on a bike. Well, if we're going to a famine, then you have learned what not to do. Do as I say, not as I do. <laughs> Parenting at its best. <laughs> we just have to make provisions for this and uh, adjust quickly when we see something go a bit titty up. Yeah, makes sense. I think it makes sense. Do as I say and not as I do. Just keep that in mind. Keep that in mind above anything. <laughs> oh. But did you see how quickly the berries went? It was like two, two, two meals and then boom, all gone. They came home with over a hundred units, over a hundred kilos of flipping blackberries and it all was gone in a few sleeps. These guys, seriously, this tribe, they love their sweets. Crikey. Tilling, 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 tilling. Keep them tilling, tilling. I like when they bend down to throw away any stones that they find. See if they do. They don't do it too often. I guess it will be less of it as the years go by. But there's still the 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 perma or the the soil will push up any rocks, won't it? There you go. Look, he bent down to. Chuck away a stone. And she did. Look, look, look. <laughs> I like when they do that. You know, I love their clothing. It is so absolutely cool. The way it's done. It's so congruent. It's exactly the way it should be. Exactly the way it should be. So the invention of parkas, which these are called, is credited to the Inuits. Which is... Um, 
uh, traditional clothing style that they used to basically survive the cold winters, well, basically all the year where they lived in Greenland. So, yeah, that's where we have stolen it from. And we use them today even, although a bit different. And the majority of us do not like to use real fur because we have uh, often the opinion that the fur belongs on animals and uh, not us as animals. But the origin of the, the fur. So, yeah, that's all good and dandy. But this is what they did back in the day. They had no other choice. As long as they, they, the use of the animal is uh, not wasted and it's not like killing for sports, I'm okay with much more than perhaps others might be. But I don't think that anyone needs to wear fur. Nobody needs to wear it. So I would never wear it. I would rather go in rags than wear fur because it's so against what I think is right to do. We don't have to do this kind of hunting anymore. We really don't have to. You know, it's just a completely different. For instance, you are in a wooded area and you have a population, say, of deer, and they need to be kept healthy. Then you, of course, go for those who are getting older or sick and stuff like that. It's, a, it's one thing to preserve and conserve, and then it's a completely different uh, thing to do killing of animals for sports or for joy. That is just, for me, there's something wrong in that it just uh, completely goes against everything I, I believe in or my principles and my morals but we are all different so even though we don't share opinion it doesn't mean that we are not human or that we're not worthy you know we're still good all good but if you were a friend of mine i would have your ass on a very daily basis if you were hunting for sports or for joy be very aware of that just saying. Just saying. <laughs> yeah, let's sit out in the rain and just stare into the nothing. I wonder when we will have so that they are actually having a reaction to rain and thunder. Because I want to see them flee to cover. I want to see the ladies run with, with covering their head, their head and hair with their arms and running into the huts. I want to see that. I want to see them wet. I want to see them drenched <laughs> when there's a heavy rain shower. And <laughs> see the, uh, the look, the way they look. Oh, I have one sleeping out in the open. Oh yeah, of course, because we got more thingies, didn't we? Duh. We got more migrants. That means we're going to need mm, more huts. Or, as we did in the next year, World of Warcraft, more darts, more darts. Okay, let's first of all make sure that we have enough income. No, you are uh, supplementary. Where's my main? There you go. You should go for well, one notch more. Okay, so let's. Um, Give them some more huts. Just make sure that's not a group building them. I prefer not to have these objects assigned to any one group because uh, if you are trying to force people to get more skills, you are not doing it right by assigning anything to a group because the group will have a swing door effect. So you, you, you don't really achieve what you want to achieve. Just let the tribe sort it. Oh, that stone was a little bit oddly placed, wasn't it? So you guys are being paused while we are building one hut. Because you shouldn't build more than what you actually have material for in the tribe at the moment, in the camp. Just let them um, gather and get materials for the next one before you start building it. That's at least how I like to do things. Doesn't mean that you need to do it as well. You do whatever you think is uh, fitting for you. If it works for you, then no problem whatsoever. But the overbuilding is never a good idea. You can get away with it with the fences because they are so quick. Four sticks and they are done in two ticks. That rhymed. I'm a poet. But yeah, be careful with placing down larger things that take a lot more manpower and a lot more resources because you are hogging a large percentage of your workforce if you're doing many at the same time. 
Okay, I'm gonna give these back to to some of my staples again. I can keep. Uh, yeah, don't need those. Can I keep one? Or do I already have one over here? I do. I have two. I have two. Some of them go back to the normal staples. There you go. One for berries is fine. I wanted to do the same for um, for mushrooms, but I'm too late. They will have uh, rotted and gone into the ground and reseeded. Whatever is uh, there. Okay, taken. Are there any dogs? No, I'm going to leave them. Just for fuck's sake, leave the dogs. Seriously. Oh my goodness, I don't have an editor. Which means that now that I just swore... I have to edit it myself. This might be hilarious. It for sure will be weird. I can promise you that. I need to stop swearing. I mean, I'm born and raised in Northern Norway where swearing is part of the language. You, we use it at dots and commas. It is what it is. At least it used to be like that in my generation. I mean, the, the very young ones probably don't swear that much. But um, it was weird coming down south in Norway where nobody was swearing a lot. And I was swearing constantly. And nobody really noticed or they didn't, they didn't say anything. But of course, you, you, you start losing that... Uh, that uh, uh, way of talking when you imitate the others and take over their accent because then you're using their words and not the ones that you came from, the ones where you lived before in northern Norway. So it, it is less, it is less, but it still comes out, the northern Norwegian still comes out in me. <laughs> you can take the girl out of northern Norway, but you can't always take northern Norway out of the girl. It is what it is. <laughs> So I don't apologize for swearing. It is what it is. I am who I am. Take it or leave it. To like it or lump it. Oh, that's another connection point I don't dare to mess with. I have a few of these now, don't I? <laughs> Every time I extend, I have connection points I need to leave open. Yes, it is what it is. But when we connect, if we connect the entire city with walls all the way around, then we can get rid of all the internal walls and also cause the connection points because then we will have an external complete protection around the city, uh, village, settlement. Yeah, I don't love these fences when they are for so long looking like that. It's a bit rusty though, so it's not the worst in the world. Ain't too bad. How are we doing? Okay, so wheat is basically done. Because now we are... No, they could still be going, couldn't they? Yeah, they're still going, because we're still in February. Got to be tricked. It looked like we're going into March. And we have plenty seeds of everything. Plenty. Nobody says pulses. It is peas. We call them peas, don't we? Because when you take them out of their pods, they become peas. When they are in the pods, they are the pulses, I guess? Or pea pods? And pulses is the correct name, I think. But we call them peas. Everyone knows what we mean anyway. What is it here? Oh, yeah. You... Yeah, waiting to be tilled. I can probably put these on again. Okay, so year 14, we're going to play till year 15. And how many people do we have? 100 and, 104. So now we're going to hopefully, oh, three pregnant. Really? Five babies. Okay, really? I've been waiting for three years for you guys to increase population by pregnancies. And now that I have enough, plus, plus, eight of you became pregnant within a few months. And I'm like, really? <laughs> Yeah, yeah. It is what it is. Oh, did I not place this on pause? Oh, crap. 
lucky. I forgot to put them on pause, so they've been fighting for resources. I'm going to put everything on pause till I have everything. Because they are lacking um, ropes, aren't they? They are fighting for the ropes. Yeah, thought so. That's what I thought, Margaret. Let me see. Let's get some more speed on it. Okay, so the fine sticks are improving, so that will never be an issue for repairs. We'll never lack any materials, because that is important. Because when the items get broken, the fences actually uh, lack so much repair, they go broken, then animals can come through. Still no sapling from you? No? No, didn't think so. The deer, his parents is dead. see how's this one doing though any sapling can't see me but it could take years to come up anyway so we seem to be doing okay so now we just need to see how it behaves with the extra how many was it eight people we had was it eight we had 95 and now we're 104 that's nine no but that's a, a few a babies there as well wasn't it baby coming as well so eight or nine one would think that eight or nine wouldn't tip off the balance but you know sometimes when the balance is really precarious and when you're testing around to find the balance properly it could tip you it really could tip you because if you consider uh, one person uh, if it's an adult eat one unit uh, per meal which is two units per day and when you they then sleep or fall asleep you have suddenly eight, and when you have a hundred people doing eight, then you suddenly have eight hundred. So it does add up. It might look like you have plenty a lot, but give it a few sleeps with a hundred people, and then it will be nothing. So don't be fooled by a high number. You need to do the calculations and quickly figure out that per day these guys are eating between 180 and 200. Maybe a bit lower, 170 perhaps, if we have many kids. We have 18 kids. Elderly also eat a little bit less, but adults eat a full unit and the pregnant people eat a little bit more than a full unit. So don't be fooled by the amount because uh, it's not that high. I think the, uh, the um, I almost said appetite, but the amount they eat have been reduced a little bit, but that happened quite a while back. But there's still a good amount that, that goes every day for 104 people. Why are you unhappy? It better be because you have a, a grade or something. Yeah, of course it is. Yeah, do your best bubbles. So we're almost in the month where uh, the girls are going to get the flower crowns and the flowers. Look at this. Look at this Viking. He's cold as F. Ah, see, I didn't swear. Cold as fiddlesticks. And he's running around in, in his, almost said loincloth, his uh, tea towel. <laughs> what is it? It's a, a skirt. Dude, you have a skirt on. <laughs> it's a skirt. <laughs> Being a Viking and all. It must be from uh, Scandinavia. <laughs> a young, strappy Scandinavian. <laughs> So this takes a lot of sticks when they need to be repaired. Yeah, they take 10. There's quite a stark difference between the um, lowest uh, fence, which is a 4, and it takes 2 to be repaired. And then this uh, takes 20, and it has 20 in building, and then takes 10 for repairs. So it is, it is luxury to have these walls. I don't recommend that you have them around your entire city because you will be spending a lot of time uh, getting sticks for these. There's plenty enough to have these, although there are going to be some changes for the fencing coming up. I can't say more than that, but um, yeah, you will see when it comes. Okay, so do I have enough rope now? I have six rope. How many do you lack? You lack five, so I'm going to do you because we have the straw for it. And then you will have to wait a little bit. Oh, you only lack one, but then we don't have enough straw. So I'm gonna leave one on pause anyway.
I'm still doing the yeah so look now the uh, wheat farms are done and we still have we still have wheat grains over so I think that we have reached a fairly okay balance uh, I hope there will be no waste I don't think there will be because we have three ovens and two two mills or two grinding stones that will take care of it Sometimes when they use these, they forgot to, to close them. Then they just start open like that. Look, they sometimes forget to close them. It's weird when they do that. <laughs> and it's ready. Ah, ready. You can see that the pulses or the peas are managing much better than the uh, the beat are in uh, in pit pits. It's always a good idea to have a storehouse for the beets. The rest can manage quite a while, but of course, when you get huge tribes, several hundred, you really do need some storehouses for any produce that comes in that is in larger amount than your population can eat within a few sleeps so it doesn't decay away it's better safe than sorry but you know if you are come to a point where your reed is fairly low you should give in on the storehouses and then harvest less because people need a good place to sleep so they don't go around uh, unhappy because you need to keep your people happy These also demands a lot of sticks when they need repairs. Look at that. 25 to build and then you have roughly 15 or so when you need to repair. So you need to have a good income of sticks. So if you have it between two and 300 in the size tribe that I have, you should be all right. But look how quickly they're going down. Look how quickly they're going down. But luckily we have our dedicated group to do those only and the trees are really close so there will be production of sticks fairly fairly quickly and fairly regularly how are we doing with tall grass because it's spring now so we can't see okay these are from last year no that's the sand girl that tricked me let me see a lot of nettles. Yeah, here's the tall grass. You can see it's growing now and uh, will be done in summer. Ready to harvest. Did you guys build? A... Yeah, you did. So then I can do this one in the morning. How many? You only need one and then we need... No, I'll wait a bit because uh, it needs 200 and they want 250 at least in camp so that whatever needs uh, repairs now will be done there is a few here that is very close to needing repairs yeah I'll just wait a bit so I don't think we have more than perhaps one or two sleeping in the open yeah this guy he's still going strong he's 64 so he has roughly between eight roughly maybe eight ten years left of course it will go down a bit as well won't it it will go down but it is what it is
How much do I have? 1800, okay. Did I start? No, I'll wait till the for, uh, planting season is over. See, they have to go further and further away now to get the stone, so the, the pace of stone coming in is slower than it was 10 years ago. See how far along you need to go to get the first batches of stone that you can bring home. It's not too bad, is it? Not too bad at all. Look at my horses. Oh, she's pregnant. She already has a baby. This is a big baby. Very big. And it's a girl. Beyond the sixty five, let's see. You're going to take fifty years. Yeah, that's you done. It's a rave to build this. Do I need it though? I mean, that's the big question. I'll check to see if... Uh, actually, I should build it now because now it's going to start uh, decaying rope. You can see it's already lost one, so I'm just going to build it so it decays straw instead of rope. But maybe I should let it decay rope instead because we can build a million ropes because of all the... plant fibre we're getting when we're threshing the flax. But plant fibre will never be an issue. If the baskets had been given better decay protection than the pits, then I would have built more baskets than pits. But um, you can't put everything you want in pits. You know, you can't put any uh, animal products or animal produce in into, uh, into the pits. They need baskets, so then you have no choice but to use these for meat and, and honey of course and also flour can't go in the pits you don't put it in pits you put it in baskets you do the same today don't you <laughs> pits is for darkened oh let me see oh they look so pretty let's see if we can see them grow again yeah 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 we can see them grow <laughs> So, when you are uh, wanting to get out of a situation, someone asks you to, would you want to come watch opera with me or whatever, whatever you don't like or find boring. Nope, I'm going to watch the beats grow. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you've done this. Oh yeah, of course you have, duh. I knew that. <laughs> I don't pay attention. Don't pay attention at all. And the, these are done. I'm going to open this. It's going to be the first thing to go in, to, in the morning. Just wait and see. They're going to flee into the stomachs. Oh, you need repair. So 40 years for you. Oh, and you need repair. Ooh. It's a good thing people have been gathering all day. So they got, we got plenty to repair. Which is why the limit is so high. watching them grow <laughs> oh they're not growing that bad anymore because they're almost ready to be harvested let me look at this one oh i can see the other one growing i can see them growing <laughs> gosh <laughs> all the things that i find funny oh dude I'm surprised that they're not gone already because they normally beeline for the beats immediately. But we have too little food, they go for the beats immediately. But it's not like we had too little food when we had them earlier either. Eh? Oh, yeah. 
We have a good mix now. <gasps> no, no, I can't take you. I can't take you. I can't take... No. 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 Oh, but look at his fishing skills. This is so unfair. Why you do this to me? Why you do this? Look at his fishing skills. No, I can't, I can't, I can't, I have to, oh god, that was hard to do. Oh. We're 107, with six babies, and another one is pregnant, yeah, that's what you get, having uh, young, healthy females coming to the tribe, there will be pregnancies. Oh, let me see if they got something in their hair, they do. Look how pretty it is! Don't you have it? No, you have tattoos, don't you? So you won't. Because you're a different culture, aren't you? You will have other things. You will have your face paint. Yeah. That's cool too. But this is nice. See the way they are dandying them into the, uh, the hairstyles. It's really nice. Oh, I forgot to start this one, didn't I? I will start when we're done with all the harvesting. And I will probably forget it. But we have 2,000 now. That's uh, a bit over one third of the way. A bit under, a bit over. Yeah, a bit over. I can't see anyone sleeping in the open. It does mean that we have enough, so I can I can leave these two on pause. So the adults have overtaken the, the elderly again, which is good. She doesn't have too much skills. She is clumsy, minus 44. That will, that will do something to her, her skills. Not all of them though, because like I said, combination matters. But this, one, this dude is kind of very eager on food processing, isn't he? So he's done a lot of threshing and a lot of, uh, oh, Cabbage Face. <laughs> I should call him Cabbage Face and <laughs> rename him. He's a bit slow, Not nothing bad, bad at all with that uh, grade. It's totally fine. Yeah, I want to see more. He's also, yeah, he's probably in, in a gathering group for food because of his low skills. Yeah, so he is, he's dying, and this one is also, she's also, she's too weak to work because of fitness, and then she's pregnant, which is also ruining her fitness. Minus 42. I blame you not. Look at her. Her fitness is halved. <laughs> what the heck? Oh, dude. Let me see. You, yeah. Everything is weaving that could mean you have been repairing the fences all the time, which is not bad. Okay, so a lot of people are doing the threshing, that's for sure, because <laughs> that's where the majority of the food pressing is coming from. Processing, I mean, is coming from. There's a baby, J 
she has good uh, architecture and she's fairly good on fishing as well but she's not fishing meaning that others can be fishing and reach her level she's uh, agriculture and food processing fairly low on agri on uh, architect though look at her food processing skill processing skills I want to shorten the word food processing to food processing I think that's a better word it's easier to say come on oh he's good on uh, on the architecture yeah he's, uh, oh, he's fairly young still have time so is he but he's doing quite a bit of food processing it's not gonna be food processing anymore just get used to it guys it's food processing all the food processing they have look he's totally green he just started with doing the huts he she it they whoever whatever you want to be called I'm fine whoever you choose let me see look at her as well quite green on the architecture Mm. She doesn't have too strong scales on anything, which could be down to her her uh, clumsiness. And also, of course, she's a bit slow. It's not the worst, though. She's probably been a lot in the food gathering groups because you don't get skill from gathering food. So and somebody has to do them. And there's a lot of people who do, do the food gathering. So, But this guy has uh, been a bit everywhere, hasn't he? you're a bit low on everything but the woodwork so that means you've probably done a lot of the fencing or maybe gone into to crafting but then you should have a bit of crafting skill as well smithing skill but you didn't so look at this one he's almost maxed out his food processing food processing <laughs> Yeah. He's determined and is quick. Yeah. But he's he's very feeble. So even though he's in work age, he's too weak to work because of his uh, feebleness. And of course, he becomes worse with age. So let's see his wife. Yeah, nothing bad at all. But oddly enough, she has only one skill. So she's only repairing the huts and she's gathering material besides, which gives her no skills. And her daughter has good skills. Because she is skillful. So that explains why some of her great degrees are very high. And she's fairly young still, so she can still learn quite a bit more. Let's see what else the there's children they have this one she's young and she's done a lot of uh, food processing <laughs> I need to say it right so I don't teach people to say it the wrong way food processing so <laughs> and she's big pretty big plus seven and she is an introvert or maybe she's unfriendly introvert no When you're unfriendly, it's got nothing to do with introvert or, or not introvert. It's just that you don't, I don't know, you're not, you don't like to be friendly. It is what it is. Let's not dwell. You are who you are. Look at him, still going. Oh my goodness. He's 65. Look at his skills. Yeah. Good skills. Okay, I need to save the... There you go. The beats are saved. Good year. Look, it's a good year. 500 and it's not finished yet. So it's going to be like 600. A bit more than we had the previous year. Is we had like 550 previous year. Or was it 650? I actually can't remember. And just keep going back to this one to see if there's going to be a sapling up from it soon. I can see the peas growing though. <laughs> Ooh, 
go repair. Go repair the gates. Now. Please. So this, uh, of course, the threshers give processing skills, food processing skills. So this is why so many people have it, because we have no less than five of these contraptions to thresh. And then, of course, we have the two drying racks as well, which also gives food processing skills. Ta-da! See if anyone sleeps out. No. They do not. So even though this one takes three logs, it takes so much longer before it needs repairs than the small fireplaces. So yeah, having one of those is not a bad idea when you have the opportunity to get logs on a regular basis. When you don't use wood choppers, but uh, let the gatherers uh, pick them up from the ground and crop the odd trunk here and there, it, you get logs, but you don't get a large amount and it is trickling in. So if you are going to have big fireplaces, try to go for only one to start with until you get access at least so you can chop by need. Instead of waiting for logs that may or may not come after many years in the same locality. There will always be some trees that fall over and die and trunks be coming from old trees that have died but there won't be like super many. From a distance, they looked like uh, beets. I was thinking, what the heck? Why are they not being harvested? But then I realized they are not beets. They are peas, Lily. Peace out, Lily. <laughs> Soleils. Also, when you have uh, roundhouses close to or anywhere near where the crafters are, they love going into these roundhouses to do their crafting. E soon, soon I'm going to start the, uh, the big men here, the large men here. 5,000 stone. It is quite a bit, isn't it? But if you are sedentary and you start fairly early with building your monuments, you should be able to do it. But uh, I think my squircle is uh, quite cool, to be honest. It's a cool construction. <laughs> They are so different. This one is large, this one is flat, and this one is tiny. There's nothing similar with them. It's, it's like, except that they are half moon or half circle. They're all half circle at least. <laughs> you need repair.
Now the wheat is coming in. Just in time. Because the last spread, the last spreads are being done. So I'm going to save up 60 there. <coughs> well, 75 there. Yeah. Don't really need 75, but 57, 37 is too little, so 75 it is. So these should be ready to harvest soon as well. Good balance means you can lean back a bit and not stress too much. Even though you have 106 people. The stone storages are filling up, aren't they? Yeah, almost ready to start the project. When they have uh, run out of uh, storage space, where you have allocated them to place the items, they will start placing them basically everywhere. There's no set rule of where they will go, but they tend to chalk them next to the fireplace and next to where their tools are stored. And yeah, so it's much more organized if you if you have storage areas to make sure that they don't place them everywhere. So even though we have two of each, the flux is really low in comparison to say the wheat. The wheat is always quite a bit higher. So it seems to be better conditions for the wheat than it is for flax. At least on the average. What are my gatherers on? They should be on 50. Yeah, that's right. Stay on 50. So soon I'm going to make this group into gathering mushrooms only. I want to see how much they come home with. Because we haven't harvested mushrooms now for, is it two or three seasons? So there should be quite a bit more than the usual, I don't know, 10 units. Well, you see, you do not need to up your, your fishermen more. If you have a good balance of cultivated, you can keep the wild produce. The fish is still wild produce, really, really low. Just a nice little trickle is, is basically all you need. Could probably take the wild produce down even more, to be honest. last of the uh, wheat is done 
So that's good. Now we just wait for the peas. Yeah, so we got two tanners just to make sure that people's tanning skill were kept up. So the skills are evenly built, except a few that is either because I have too few working on them or because I just don't really care about them like the hunting one because I have all the weapons and stuff that I need so if I just keep uh, a few people hunting on a regular basis it should keep but if it uh, does go a few notches back when someone dies or the max skill holder dies then that's fine it takes a bit to lose enough to needing to, to hunt a lot more so I'm not too worried about that. So that means that now when this is done, it's time to start doing the big one. The big one here. <coughs> On and six. Okay. Okay, so we are soon gonna go into year 15 and we are still we are still alive yay I hope you guys are still alive as well maybe even with more people just be super careful to not go too high up too quickly have you perhaps also gone through a few, fa few famines or have you managed to keep your people fed out some of the bottlenecks because there are a few storms on the on the road that's for sure I've had a few close calls myself trying desperately to find the, the balance it's not easy is it <clears throat> up to year 10 I find everything to be fairly easy it, like no issue at all really but after that you, you start to need uh, the the finicky works, the you know the micromanagement, put it like that. So when you have like a few minutes where you can just sit and stare and just watch them work, it's a bit of a holiday, <laughs> you know. Because if you if you are in a bit of a precarious situation with regards to balance, you uh, you need to constantly adjust things and up this and down this. Okay, so what I'm going to do now, since it's October, we are going to check out how much uh, mushrooms we have so you guys are gonna go find mushrooms and you are gonna start getting built but it's only the uh, three people who will do it 
so let's see. Maybe there's not too much. Well, there seems to be quite quite enough mushrooms. Let's go have a look and see where they're going. Into the woods where there's uh, shadows and stuff. Okay, there's a bit of mushrooms here. Okay, so this is a, a, a few here. And let me see. Where are you going? Are you going same place? No, you're not. Let's find out where she's going. She is going. That looks like same place, doesn't it? Oops. Oops. Did I go too far? <laughs> I did, didn't I? <clears throat> no, it is same place. Just didn't see it. Okay, next. Oh, okay. You going this as well. What about you? You're also going this way? And you too? Really? Ah, oh, processing leather. Okay, so they're all going for the same one. So they're gonna clear this. That they are. They're going to clear this section. That's fine. <clears throat> Let's see how many they can get in one day. <laughs> They're all going here. Well, some of you might return home empty handed. But there should be enough for everyone to get a bit in the inventory before they have to return to the camp. Woof! Where are you guys going now? I'm just gonna follow them. <laughs> oh, where are you going? Working on an oven, okay. You were fairly far away, shouldn't you let people who are closer deal with it? Really? <laughs> okay, so let's see how many there are. Three, seven, twelve, 24, 26, 93, 93 in one day, <laughs> right, I am going to put them back to what they normally did, that was a bit interesting wasn't it, that they got a bit of, of goody goodies, let me see how we're we doing with, yeah we can, oh 500, yeah that'll do it, <laughs> Not exaggerating in the slightest, ever. <laughs> uh, let me see, are they still going for these? Look, they like the mushrooms, they all ate them. They all went for them, didn't they? Let me see, are they going for more? These are nuts. No, I'm gonna exit out. Hmm. And then wait. Another year. <laughs> we can have a proper feast. They took all from that area. That means that they won't be reseeding there anytime soon. Ah, way. That's fine. But at least they're dancing and happy. Let's see. You're good. I'm just keeping that in case it needs repair soon. Have a look. No, it won't be needing any repair soon. 60, 32, and 52, that should be plenty enough. And 60 on that one, that's also enough. So some players might ask, uh, why do you get so many mushrooms in one go? You know, because when you have a group doing it, what you tend to do is that you tend to divide 
all your gatherers on more tasks. If you have only one task, then the gatherers are focusing on a task rather than dividing themselves. On here, for instance, we have seven tasks. So we have 12 of them working on seven different tasks. If we had only one, they would have come home with a lot more because then everyone would focus on one task. So this is not a bad idea if you want to, to limit what your workers are coming home with. But if you want to have a party, then put a max group and only one task and they will come home with tons of it. So there. But it's not an, a, a good way to play. Because you can't free up a 21-man group for one thing that has to do with food when you can so easily manage this way. Oh, that one has died! Oh, you were old, but do you have a... anything coming underneath here? A sapling or so? I would love that. No such luck, I'm afraid. Mm. Must lumber. We still have 30, so we're good on lumber. Okay, so now they have started on the big one. Look, look, look. Oh, you look at that. Only 4,940 to go. <laughs> doing good. Doing good. <laughs> How are we doing with those? Yeah, that's good. Is it, I have to put two on these alone to keep up. <clears throat> and these are fine the way they are. Indeed. So we have food for the winter. We have roots, we have plenty of those, plenty of peas. We have those and those, and we also have more incoming of the wheat and the flax. Do I have the... I do have communal tasks on att attack one notch above. Now we're going to get over the limit that we have set for our gatherers on straw, which is excellent. Still don't need that one, I think. Let's have a look, see if someone sleeps outside. I don't think anyone does, though. If they do, then I will build the other hut. Nobody sleeps outside. Oh, look, look. Someone wasn't close enough. Or maybe they went out early. Yeah, probably. That's probably it. I was just going to say, oh, someone didn't go there. <laughs> they probably did. Okie dokie. Can I open this one? So these are not really, <laughs> really keeping anything alive as such. I mean, every little helps, but they are mostly for the aesthetics because I think it looks cool. I just wish I could get them all the same size, but it was difficult to do with everything that's in the way. Sort of planned it a little bit different. I didn't plan it for it to be beautiful. I wanted it to be practical and functional above anything. So when I leave it there, they will slowly but surely, you can see the uh, ropes have gone down a few more. So when the ropes are done rotting away, then the sticks will start to go. That's kind of how it works. And there's nothing left. So they're basically not going to be done with the wheat until the tilling starts all over again in next month. <laughs> so this is what uh, having only three does when you have between three and 400, 500 perhaps incoming. So it does take a long time, even with the uh, communal task one notch up, me meaning 
more people to do communal tasks because that is what this is. So there. They go out fairly early. Oh god, do we have miners again? Oh, does this mean we're going to have a bad, bad year? Oh, I don't want a bad year. We can't afford a bad year. Well, we can, but it's going to cost. But it is beautiful though, isn't it? I am. Oh, that didn't last long. <laughs> That's only a short while. So we are quite a bit over now because we have thrashed the, uh, the wheat so we get a bit of straw from that. So your um, your monuments will never need repairs. Just saying, they will forever be the way they are, or they will go like I don't know how many millennia before they perhaps lose a stone or whatnot. But I, I will generally say they do not need repairs. <laughs> Stone fences do, but like I said earlier, they, they last forever before they need repairs, like a decade or so. Oh, we're on minus again. Oh, it's going to be a hard year. Oh, it's going to be a rough year. Maybe. Maybe. I wouldn't mind a really warm summer. 27 plus. My, my wheat would love that, that's for sure. Oh, look at the uh, wheat going over to three-quarter decayed. Come on, guys, work harder. Do it, do it, do it. It's going down, isn't it? So that's good. <coughs> look at the, what they look like when they are doing it really fast. <laughs> okay. Also the way they look around like they're doing something wrong. <laughs> oh, that looked really funny. <laughs> oh that was funny. So repair materials for the threshers are of course leather. But they take years to need it. Quite a long time. Long, long time. Oh, they're going to start tilling uh, the wheat. Do I remember to take away the mushrooms on this? And of course take down the amount of people working. Don't need a million for those. Go. 13. It's supposed to be 12. There you go. Got it! <laughs> Finally! Are you guys arguing about who are going to do what? <laughs> the yo-yo effect. <laughs> Dancing in the rain.
year 15 and this is where we shall save our games and let the tribe have a holiday till we meet up next time to be honest we could do a little holiday as well part six will be in a few days and we shall try then to reach year 20 or so after year 20 it tends to become really hard to keep up with the various materials due to logistics um, for instance straw but we shall do our best to divide the various materials we have been saving. For instance, we have been saving a lot of reed, haven't we? And we're going to use it on new reed objects and perhaps dismantle a few of the big straw huts to cut down on the straw. In any case, it's always food first. So if we have to sleep a little bit rough a few days to get enough food, then so be it. So until the next time, have fun and take care.